of the time, and they'll fit okay day one. And then day two rolls around, and they're washed, and it's shrunk two and a half sizes. Well, thank God this is, uh, this is not day one for that fucking shirt. Yeah, thrift stores. It's already been worked in. Oh, for sure it is. This is a good intro to the podcast. You're just getting half naked. You're getting top up naked. Top up, bottoms on. Yeah. Well, thank God the bottoms are on. And how how is the audio working? Is it looking good? I mean, I'm seeing levels. I'm seeing audio being registered as I speak. And it, it always looks and like that, right? That's yeah. That's no, it. That's how it looks. That's the same way ah! it looks. Ah! Ah! Yeah. No, I think we're in business here. All right, good. The only thing that's changed is your mic cable. So. Yeah. Well. We're going to test out the integrity of Amazon with this mic cable. I'm sure it's great. I'm sure Amazon, I'm sure Amazon doesn't do anything untoward as far as the way that they treat their workers. Everybody, everybody gets a fair shake over at the Amazon warehouse. A fair shake. One time I was uh, working on a car dealership near an airport that also had an Amazon warehouse beside it. And they found a dead body in the ditch right out front, Uh right out front. Well, Across the street from my job site, a look, dead body. Look, if you're not going to work, you're going to be dragged out and left <laughs> to where somebody will find you. <laughs> somebody will find you in two days after you're reported missing. Jeff Bezos in a fucking, says. In a storm drainage ditch, halfway into one of those fucking weirdly ribbed tubes, I bet. Uh, yeah, let's get that notebook. Yeah, I need, I need it. I'm going to try not to sniffle up a storm here, too. Oh, yeah, you're sick, too? I'm not sick. I'm just okay. sniffly. I feel like the whole world has a bad cold. And I'm like, I'm right on the cusp of it. I can feel it in my throat. I already had it. Great. That's why why there was no podcast last week. Oh, yeah, that's why. Yes. Mm -hmm. One moment. I can see something about to be a problem. Oh, yeah? Look at it. Is it the cat trying to jump up on the chair that the other cat is sleeping on currently? Or is it all that garbage? (laughs) It's not all that garbage. (laughs) It's, uh... It's falling down the stairs is what it is. Don't close that door, your cat's head's in it. (laughs) It's, uh, yeah, just some cat food empties in there. Alright. But I know she's just gonna pot. I don't, don't stand like that with your bags hanging. You leave her bags alone. Bags hanging like somebody returning cans to the fucking... Wherever you do that, a Her liquor store. Wide stance, yeah. bags hanging. Yeah, she was ready. She was ready for somebody to try and fucking tackle her like football practice. Oh my god, you're not wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong about the way <laughs> she's she's got a firm stance. Like she doesn't like to be moved. You're like she's watching a fucking volcano erupt right over top of her hometown. <laughs> Firmly planted. <laughs> she, yeah, she's waiting for the aftershocks. <laughs> she's she's ready to lift a fridge. <laughs> She we're get her t- a job moving. We're talking about you, Goober. Goodbye. Yeah. See All you right. later. Not that you can see anything. Oh, uh, she heard that too? <laughs> and she like kind of turned around. Well, it's good that her hearing works. Well, yeah. You gotta have at least one good sense. Yeah, you're like daredevil. <laughs> she echolocates? <laughs> you ever see the video of the fucking black kid that could do that? Mm-hmm. Oh my god, like early 2007 or something? And he's just, yeah... Clicking up a storm while riding a bicycle. <laughs> yeah, dude, I can, I could, I could ride straight. <laughs> my cat's so upset by what I've done. Yeah, don't make eye contact Not, with me like that. Oh my god. Can you at home understand what I'm doing? Not even if you have a cat in the room, just put that part on speaker. This podcast is exclusively for bats now. <laughs> bats and <laughs> bats and dolphins. <laughs> Bats, dolphins, and, uh, I don't know, what else clicks? Uh, Seatbelts. A, a gun? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so welcome to the Bats and Dolphins with Guns podcast, where yeah. we exclusively talk about uh, bats and your rights to own guns. Yes. And sh- dolphins. You should, be, you should be able to own bats and guns in, in the safety and security of your own home. I want to own a- How else are you supposed to defend yourself from home invaders? I have the right to own a bat who owns a gun. Yes, rabies the- and bullets. I both. don't own the gun directly. It's just under my mm-hmm. I, I'm holding it for a friend, <laughs> who, ha- friend. who happens to have the capability of flight. <laughs> He's out right now. He's getting bugs. By, by- <laughs> 
every bat related errand is just getting bugs, finding a way to get bugs one way or another. <laughs> They're very determined. <laughs> get, all, all bats do is get bugs or die trying. Yeah, that's, literally. That's, that's life. it. Sometimes they eat a mango. <laughs> <laughs> you, ever, you ever see a bat manhandle a peach upside down? In, in a pinch, they will eat a mango. <laughs> in a pinch. Most of the time, though, they're sucking blood out of the bottom of a cow, I assume. Oh, yeah. Oh, little, because, little, well, but... you want to do it from the bottom because drainage. Yeah, yeah. You, you ever try and you know, like drink drink a milkshake with a short straw? You... Daniel Day-Lewis managed to do it with a very long one. Well, yeah. His, his straw reached one. all across the room. Yeah, that's the kind of straw you need. And he drinks your milkshake. Yeah, he's getting, he's getting that straw all the way to the bottom of the cup to mm-hmm. get from the bottom. So disrespectful, that scene, by yeah. the way. My straw reaches across the room and just fucking puts his finger right in the guy's face. And I've, it makes a slurp noise. Oh, I've never seen it. I've only seen the... Uh, there will be blood. The, the words version uh, of Oh, it. The, the typography? Yeah. From fucking Fanshawe College typography Probably. class? Probably. Hey, it was... They had, it, this, did, it did well. They had this room in uh, at the fucking... I, I hate that I'm doxing myself, but here we are. Oh, you're I'm, not... I'm doxing each other. Oh, no. No. We we went to Fanshawe College, Jay. That's true, we did. The problem was spending was, our money at Fanshawe College. I was quite literally just there last week. Yes. For, I, prob- for hopefully the last time in my life. I drove by it on my way to the thrift store. Yeah. That's as close as you want to get to that. Yeah, I, I learned more from Guinness Books of World Record than I did from Fanshawe <laughs> College. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, man. So, uh, if, yeah, Fanshawe, what? Oh, they yeah, they had this room where, like, um, in the media building, everybody's final projects, if they were uh, if they were based in media, would they would display them, the best ones in that room. And one of them was somebody's typography project for that scene of that movie. So I remember watching that, and then I found it on YouTube like years later. Ah, okay. A couple right. hundred views on that thing. Damn good. Yeah. Damn good. <laughs> oh, that was voluminous. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Grindhouse Movie Club, everybody. Oh, right. Yes, we are. Uh, did we even start the podcast? I guess we just kind of... We started it with you undressing mm, in front of me. Sensually. Yeah. As uh, I took off my sweater and forgot I did not have a shirt on underneath. <laughs> Getting ready for a sauna. Ooh. Uh, yes, grind, grind, grindhousemovie.club is the podcast. Did you know that in Europe, um, it's weird to get into a hot tub not naked? Yeah, that's why we don't live there, though. No, you're right. It's weird to do a lot of things without your penis out there, I feel. Th- yeah, and, you know, from my perspective, it's weird to have my penis out doing just about anything that isn't showering or fucking. Nice. Those are like the two times to have your penis out. The rest of them will get you arrested. Well, Jay, I would hope that you would be able to pee pee into the toilet without getting oh, thrown enough. in, thrown fair in the enough. clink. I know? guess I meant my penis in every other part of me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yes. I, if we're talking about just dick, I mean, I'll do that on a job site just so somebody looks. Yeah. Oh, it, yeah. It, just dick is fine, but dick and balls—that's yeah. That's what you don't, gets you put away. You don't want to show the whole fruit bowl before the wedding reception. <laughs> yeah, you, you really don't, because if people know that it, all it is is fruit, they're not going to come. No. No, they're gonna be, oh, it's just fruit? Yeah. Where's the protein? There's no whipped cream to go on top of this fruit bowl? It's not even dipped in chocolate? Where's I, the fondue fountain? I gotta peel these oranges myself? Ugh. Oh. Unbelievable. Uh. I think anytime somebody hands me an orange, it should be peeled already. I think oranges... I don't like food that requires work. That's why I don't eat pomegranates. I think oranges should just work like the Terry's chocolate ones, where you whack them against the wall, yeah. and then they just come apart. You and chuck don't... it on a tile floor, and then you just shove it in your face. They don't explode and shoot acid in your eye. <laughs> you, just, you just whack them, and they it fall is, apart. It is indeed acid. People forget that. It is. It's acid, and uh, given enough of it in a high enough concentration, it could tingle a little bit. Yeah. You're going to melt. A little bit. What is it with pineapple and uh, slowly eroding the roof of your mouth the more you eat it? I don't know. Explain why people eat that, then. It's it's probably the same reason why it makes your cum taste, like, different. (laughs) So I've heard. (laughs) Please qualify that statement as, I don't know from experience. Uh, now, I'm not 100% sure, but rumor <laughs> on the street is semen gets sweeter with pineapple. 
Sweeter, huh? I just said different. I, I'm assuming sweeter because it's a sugary fruit. I don't know. What does it What does it make your cum taste like? A fucking evergreen tree? I don't know. I, I Jory Karen did a video on it, and apparently it makes it no different. That is a name that I have not heard in a decade. Mm. Wow. Jory Karen. He also did a video where he ate nothing but corn to see what would come out. Was it corn? Was it basically corn on the cob? It's chew apparently it was chewed up corn. Yep. Chewed up corn came out the other side. I'm not even remotely surprised. It probably looked like creamed corn, but browner. I don't I don't think it looked brown. <laughs> I, I think it just comes out of you because your body's like, I'm done with this yeah. corn. Yeah. Corn is notoriously corn difficult to digest. Again? I told you I'm done with this corn. I'm, I'm, I'm just watching the, uh, the guard change here. <laughs> the... The changing of yeah yeah it's uh, her watch is up it is it the is monarchy is, is now spearheaded by a completely different individual cats we're, cats exchange chairs we're, yeah we're we're speaking of course of uh, the new office chair that I got that I am not allowed to use yet because no. the cats have not finished yeah they haven't <laughs> they haven't sufficiently rubbed their bodies on it yet yeah I got a feeling that we're gonna be interrupted soon here with a uh, well a, a loud intrusive noise where an idiot trying to jump. Somewhere? It's it's gonna be. It's okay. gonna be. Right on. I'll keep an eye out. We're, yeah, we're talking about you, Grim. We've we've named all the cats except Jojo. <laughs> Alright. Um so yeah, go to go to grindhousemovie.club, I guess, to listen to more of this. Oh man, go right there. Not all the intros are fifteen minutes long, but this one is. I mean, we're we're getting there. Do you wanna <laughs> you wanna talk for another three minutes about Inevitably it's going to happen. <laughs> also Dark Rose Cult. Uh, yeah, that's that's the, that's the same website. You go to darkrosecult.com. You know, I like to think of Dark Rose Cult as like an umbrella. Right. And then it keeps the yeah, podcasts yeah. dry underneath, you know? It sure does. During a rainy day. It's like a mama crab and it's brood of eggs underneath its little oh, flipper fin. In a, in a very translucent bag. Yes. You could just see the eggs in there. Yes. And when, when people catch them, they're like, oh, look at those eggs. We got to set this one free. Yeah. I, th I think probably the crab, as they're being caught, is like, fucking get rid of these eggs then. I better dump these eggs. I better dump this load in the ocean. Big egg dump. <laughs> no, nah, it's, apparently it's a thing where they, like, if they catch a crab, they got to throw it back if it's got eggs. But I believe it. I watch on TikTok, they give the crab a little piece of fish in its claw, and then they drop it into the ocean. Nice. It's like uh, penance. I'm sorry for disturbing your day. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they pop I didn't mean all... to fuck up your routine. Here's a snack. They pop all the barnacles, and then they're like, they just said it free and they call it the friendliest catch <laughs> it's on tiktok i watched the hell out of that that's fucking funny i like it i hate tiktok but i like that oh god it's all good damn all the tiktok i learned good. recently that and i've said this before on the podcast but there's this whole phenomenon about crabs moving further north so it makes uh fishing in the bering sea nearly impossible because of global warming i'll tell you what crabs are terrible they're terrible animals and should be killed immediately well, yeah and then cooked and eaten by me or just slaughtered because they're probably full of parasites. If you're going to put them on a plate, then go ahead and slaughter those crabs. If a piece of crab falls on a plate, you should wash the plate. It's gross. After eating it, because you should probably wash dishes after uh, eating food off of them all the time. Do you know what crabs eat? I don't give a fuck. Yeah, neither do they. You know what? <laughs> what whatever stops moving long enough for them to rip apart. If you fall asleep near crabs, they'll fucking eat you. I'm fine with being devoured by crabs. That, what, a, what a way to go. Dump me in the ocean when you're done. Like, I, I don't care. Do you think you would wake up when they started, like, do you think the pinch is strong enough to actually break flesh right away? I think yes. they'd have to sit there and just, like, pinch away. Have you not seen them fight? Well, yeah, but I feel like... They can rip their, like, the arms off of an opponent. Yeah, but I've also seen, like, people at a restaurant rip the arms off of a crab. That's with, true. With very little, just like, uh. I'm, okay, but... You know what? There's not even an uh. It's a... You know how hard it is to do that underwater, though? Everything's slower. It's like you're dreaming. It's fair. You know? He's going to get a couple good pinches in before you get to those arms. That's that's fine. I'm just going to drop an elbow on that thing and just yeah. flatten it. Well, they have a very hard shell. Not as hard as my <laughs> elbow! I, I, I got a feeling I'm going to... I might get through it. I got a feeling I might go all the way through and then some. I got the boniest elbows in the Western Hemisphere. Just one drop, a and shit. I split that fucker right, right down the middle. It's like a cowboy spur at the end of my arm. I hit him so hard, his little eyeball tentacles will just shoot out like, uh, like those, those birthday like things you blow into, and they like, <laughs> <laughs> and they do they back retract in. back in? Like, yeah, yeah. Okay, they do. What the That's fuck good. are those called? I don't know. But I don't. I don't you know, know either. 
I made the noise and you know exactly what it is. Yeah. No, it's theater of the mind. You painted a, a very vivid picture. <laughs> I did the little hand flap. Yep. Ah, uh, yeah. All right. What, fucking, what fucking movie did we do this week? Thanks, Andrew, for the podcast right. song. Wait. Andrew, thank you. Yeah. I keep, uh, my dementia is getting worse and worse because I- <laughs> My dementia. We keep getting further and further into the podcast. Yeah. Uh, Hostel 2. Hostel Part 2. The second sequence. Presented by Quentin Tarantino. Which I can't say I'm surprised by at all. As soon as I saw that, I wrote, uh, start the step counter. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get to see naked feet in this? I don't know. I, To be honest... I don't remember um, there being a single naked foot. To, to be honest, like a regular functioning human, I didn't pay attention to that. Yeah. Uh, as, as somebody with, you know, like a, a normal head on their shoulders. You're, I, not, you're not doing foot count. I really wanted to. Yeah. But then I got high. Well, no, that's fine. Um, yeah. No, I, I tried to watch this movie while getting high, and, and I lasted about yeah. 15 minutes. That's good. That's a good amount of time. So I've I've been up since 5:30 a.m. Oh. watching this movie. It's okay. Yeah, I, I'll tell you though, worth it because it's been a minute since I've seen this, like a long one, and I forgot how good it was. It's, I'm a, I'm a it's huge funny. fan. I'm a huge fan of this. One. Fucking this is Eli Roth in his prime. Hostel one and two, uh, Cabin Fever. Yeah, if if you remember the end of Cabin Fever and you smiled, yeah, you were going to smile at the end of this film. Oh, yeah. You You'll smile even, throughout a great majority of it, You might it, to grin. Be yeah. You might grin a little bit. It, 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 I feel like a smile's wider than a grin. I think a grin is more subdued. Mm, fine. Fine. <laughs> I stayed in a, in a hostel once. One time. The closest I've been is I uh, stayed in a uh, above a jazz bar in Toronto once. Mm. Easily the worst hotel I've ever been in. The... Uh, the bathroom sink was in the living room slash bedroom. I like it. I and, like it. Uh, it wasn't properly vented, so because the fucking hotel was from like 1970 when the rules were different. So all night, all you could hear was the sink gurgling every time somebody flushed a toilet. I love it. It's it's called back siphonage. That's uh, that's better than the one I stayed in because if you wanted to use the bathroom, you had to find it. <laughs> I don't know where oh. it. It's, you stayed in like one of those hostels where it's like one communal bathroom for two floors, and you got to fucking you got to go through a labyrinth to get to it. And you're just Jay, knocking on doors where people are sleeping. It might have been in another building. <laughs> oh no! It, there, it, it's literally it might illegal. Been, it, it, it's illegal. It, it might have been in, in a separate building. I don't quite remember. But what I do remember was that they had the interior of an airplane in the basement, and they turned it into a movie theater. Oh, well, that's not bad. Yeah, but then if you had to shit. Oh, you got to get up and walk through a sea of people who are way too close. Oh, yeah. And then you got to, like, talk to other people when you go into, like, another building. Like, yeah, I'm here to shit. <laughs> the, is it is the shitter here? You're it's just, two buildings down. Okay. You just walk in unfamiliar. Let's be honest. You know why I'm here. <laughs> 15, 1,500 people a year come through this building looking for shitting. I've come for your shitter. <laughs> I've heard tell of a place I can shit. And I will not leave without it. Um, and yeah, the whole time I was there, I was like, oh, fuck, I'm going to wake up without my skin. Yeah. Because of this movie. Yes. It's giving hostels a bad... I don't know who the fuck is like, yeah, let's stay in the hostel. I've seen hostel. Let's stay in the hostel. This fuck... Thanks, Seinfeld. This, uh, <laughs> uh, th this movie series has really ruined Slovakia for any European <laughs> backpacker. Oh like, my god. Oh yeah. Oh the, yeah. The train moves yeah. through Slovakia and fucking Croatia and Moldova. Hey man, I'll take a cab. Yeah. I'll yeah. take a cab right around that part of Europe, please. You know what? I might just watch 90 Day Fiance at home. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's already been there. I I just I'll just get the gist. I, I'm not really interested. You know, it's a CIA black site for a reason. Oh my god. So I, Quentin I, Tarantino. <laughs> yeah, Quentin Tarantino and Eli Roth, who yeah, once again, this is like his best work. Those, um, that that combination of three movies, treat him as a trilogy because that's the best he's done, and it's the best he'll ever do. If you've seen Aftershock, which is about an earthquake in Mexico, mm -mm. you know that mm -mm. pretty much, with the exception of the Green Inferno, that sounds like a, a old movie of that sucks. It, well, it's neither of those things. Okay, well, it's, it's like from 2016, and it's about it's like Seth Rogen is a superhero. Oh, uh, you're sorry, you're thinking of uh, a horrible superhero movie called Green Hornet. Yeah. You're thinking of a horrible movie. No, no, that's a good one with Keto. Yeah, uh, I think it's Kato. Is it Kato? That's not good. <laughs> Kato, like, uh, isn't that isn't that a Mortal Kombat character? Kato, I think with it's- With, like, a, a laser for an eye? I think it's- a, a, That's Kano. Oh, same thing. Um, same thing. Isn't that the thing that old people use to, like, 
not fall? Uh, oh, I, I believe that's called a walker. <laughs> or a cane. Yeah. <laughs> what, whatever. It's fine. Uh, um, e- Eli Roth is in Inglorious Bastards, too, yeah. right? Uh, like, he didn't self-inject in this movie, which I was kind of surprised by. He, because he's in Cabin Fever with yes, he Dr. Is. Mambo. And uh, I'm not sure, but I think he's in Hostel for like a very brief period, the first Hostel. I bet you him and Quentin Tarantino hold hands. They they hold hands. They at, seem like they do the same thing. At like a high-end coffee shop. Yeah. Where like, they're the l- l- most uncomfortable people to be nearby in the coffee shop. And they both look mad. They're, they're like they're holding hands. Like they're both like, like, yeah, we're doing this. We're holding these hands. But they love it. Yeah. Deep inside. Because they, they love each other. That's that's right. Themselves. Sorry, they love themselves. Uh, the guy who plays Todd in this movie. There's a guy named Todd in this movie? Yeah, the super muscular dude who... Uh, I have a whole thing to talk about when it comes to masculinity in this movie, but uh, he's There's also in The Green Inferno for a very brief period. It's one of those... You know how, like... Um, yeah, well, Tarantino's a good example. Or, like, uh, Guy Ritchie and David Fincher. Like, they'll make th- four movies, and they'll cast the same two people in all four of them. Like, they'll e- inevitably be like, John Travolta is in five Tarantino movies, right? Oh, yeah. It, it's sort of like that. This guy just shows up. And, and, and Samuel L. Jackson is in all of them. Yes, that's right. All of them! And he's always some kind of racist. I mean, there are some words thrown around. You know? There are some. He's either a stereotypical words black character, thrown. or uh, he hates black people. Those are those are his two characters in a Tarantino movie. Which movie does he hate black people? To fucking Django when he's an Uncle Tom. Oh, where he's, where yeah. he's the house. Mm. <laughs> I forgot about that movie. He's the only one that's allowed to sleep that in an actual bed that's not made of straw. I forgot about that movie. Yeah, I don't know how you could. I really enjoy, there's a comedian who's like talking about how, uh, oh god, what's his name? Leonardo DiCaprio is just walking around saying that word, and Jamie Foxx yes. and Samuel L. Oh, Jackson yeah. are just like, they have to sit there. They sure do. <laughs> and, he, and he's just saying it. They sure do. Uh, well. Hostile 2, though. Hostile 2. Not, not a single word like that said in this film. You know why? Because not a single black person in it. Find one black person in Hostel 2. Probably in the background of that festival being tortured on it like a rack. <laughs> maybe, maybe. There's, there's other racisms to be had, though, so we'll, we'll... That's true. We'll get into that. That's uh, the, There's just something for everybody. There is, yeah. It's a real... It's a, it's a real cornucopia. <laughs> <sighs> well, uh, the, the movie starts with a dude just burning shit. Yeah, uh, burning evidence. Yeah, it's sort of like uh, a gear up scene in a Nightmare on Elm Street where you see like fucking Freddy's like polishing or uh, with the, the fucking what's the sharpening the yeah. blades of his fucking knife glove. Yeah, it's exactly in, in a boiler that. room. Except in this case, it's uh, well burning memories. It's a wallet from a, a Californian that does not have American money in it. N- uh, well, she doesn't have anything anymore. Well, yeah, you no, know, because she's dead. Well, but I would assume so. I would assume so. That. that was a burp. Yeah, just a fat nightmare person rifling through somebody else's belongings next to an oven. <clears throat> so you know, immediately yep. you kind of know what you're getting into here. Like, oh, why? Why is this body being burned along with pictures and passports? Yep. Um, and then there's just like a dead guy on a train and the cops just really want to talk to him. They're like, sir, sir, sir. So if you saw the first sir? movie, this whole scene is a continuation of the first movie. Yeah, I, I literally wrote right here, I hope Jay knows what's happening. Oh, no, I 100% do. All right. I could, I could easily explain it. So this is the one survivor from the first movie, and he's on the train. Yeah. <laughs> you don't get to see this at home, but Matt's doing the thing where you uh, rest your head in your hands when you're listening intently like a fucking school child. Well, I, it's been, a, I just like to know. You know? Yeah. It's, I don't know what's happening. So the reason why there's blood on the window and a glove on his hand and you see it immediately is because that hand is missing fingers. Because that's what he lost. And then, yeah, the police, I mean, anytime they take him to the hospital, right? And he's he's getting hydrated. <laughs> and they have people come in and ask if, uh, like, uh, head cops, or at least it looks like head cops. Come in and ask him a few questions about, you know, why he was uh, bloodied and bashed on a train. And he's far too trusting. Like, I understand that there's safety, or at least a feeling of safety in a hospital. But the fact of the matter is, you're still in Eastern Europe, where you just watched two people get murdered, basically. One of whom was a friend that you went backpacking with. I wouldn't accept, and this is a thing that goes on throughout the movie. 
I wouldn't accept food or beverage from literally anybody around me until I was back in the homeland. <laughs> seems kind of seems seems seems, seems kind of like not racist, but very racist. I mean, it, it's racism in the sense that, yeah, if you went to Africa and you were uh, wrapped in three tires and set on fire, you might not want to go back to Africa. Okay. All right. Well. Yeah, okay, I get that. Sorry. I for I was just assuming that you were like, yeah, I'm not going to take a drink from anybody who's from another country. No, just just the ones that kill, tried to kill me. Yeah, okay, just, that's, just uh, the people in the right. country that tried that, to murder me in a yeah. in a bombed out fucking building from Chernobyl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't I don't anybody who speaks that language with that accent, I might be a little bit wary of. Yeah. You oh, know? yeah, I'm I'm sure you're going to be triggered. Yeah, yes. By anybody who sounds like Borat. So far too fucking calm. Anyway, this whole scene is a fucking dream sequence, which is the only way they could get away with actually killing the guy. The whole point being, um, yeah, we're here to... It's weird that it's a dream sequence that has the chick in it who is actually a chick in the movie. Uh, the the blonde with the that looks like the woman from fucking Eurythm, Eurythmics is the name of the band. You know, uh, sweet dreams are made of this. I don't know. Well, if you watch the music video for it, it looks like her. Ah, uh, sure it's not Marilyn Manson you're thinking of? <laughs> Pretty sure you're thinking of Marilyn Manson. That's a cover, Matt. Get with the program. Yeah, just drop that. Fuck that pen. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. Anyway, my point is, uh, the whole the reason for this scene is so that you can get uh, essentially a recap to explain to this point to anybody who hadn't seen the first movie exactly what it's about. And it's just wild that people are like, I'm going to go see the second one. Fuck the first one. Yeah, but just in case you did that, Eli Roth was courteous enough to he be was. like, well, here's the cliff notes and from yeah. Hostel 1. And then he's like, uh, you know, and they're like, oh, did they have a, the, the guy's like, they had this, this tattoo of a hound dog. He's like, oh, you mean this one? Yeah, yeah. And stabs him yeah, and he here's wakes a, up. Here's a scalpel in your chest. And he which, wakes the fuck up and you're like, ah, well, this was for nothing. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly how you feel. And my point was, uh, th the dream sequence is the only way they could have gotten away with murdering him like that mm. because... You'll notice that this is not a soundproof hospital. Oh, and no, he is no. screaming quite loudly. Which happens in a lot of hospitals, and I feel like sometimes it gets ignored. It, it, that's, I, I mean, I hope that's well, not true, but I'm well, sure it is. Well, when you scream all day, eventually... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just fucking screaming, don't worry about it. Let's but, continue the tour, kids. But I... <laughs> yeah, no, that's just poo. It's just poo. <laughs> He's smearing it. No, it's okay. He's locked in there. He's not going to get... smearing it. He can't get to you with the poo. You went that way with it. I was just thinking that it was like a constipated man. Ah, uh, I no, was... That's just poo. It's fine. He's uh, having a hard time with it. That's why he's here. No, no. I was thinking... <laughs> I was just thinking of the mentally ill. <laughs> that's all. It's not that kind of hospital. Um, I, I wrote here, uh, no subtitles for Matt. No, you don't. Uh, so I had to download them personally and uh, even... and keep them to yourself. That's nice. So... That's nice of you. I got the tourist experience where I'm like, what? Yeah. Uh, please, somebody speak English, please. Uh, get it all out. Get it all that's, out. That's it. That's, that's it. I, I, was oh. just, I was just every like... foreign language in this movie is not subtitled in English, regardless. So it's not like I had some great insight into what the fuck they were saying. The translator was necessary for me as well. You're just keeping the fucking keeping all this Eastern European gibberish to yourself, huh? Well, you can blame Eli for that. Eli Roth. Yeah, a certain someone doesn't give a shit whether you understand Slovakian or not. Well, he's lucky. But I don't care either. <laughs> <laughs> or else I I would have looked a little harder for some subtitles. Yeah, they wouldn't have helped. Don't worry. Um, so He guy... wakes up in bed with his fucking girlfriend who's just a bitch. Who's just a bitch cunt. And no wonder he's got to go right to the pills. Oh, yes. Because right the, to first, the, pills. the first thing she does when he wakes up after having a PTSD episode in his sleep is be so unsupportive because it's three in the morning. Oh, you need how to eat dare with your you, food? Go fuck yourself. Yeah, how dare you wake up at 3 a.m. in terror in my bed? Yeah. I came all the way to this secluded house in the woods that's my grandfather's for some reason. We'll pay attention to that point. Real. Just note that down in your jots. Like it fucking matters. It does, Jay. It, it, ma it matters a great deal. It doesn't matter worth a lick. So they're... Yeah, it matters because they're hiding. Yeah. He's afraid. They're hiding in the woods from they're, a group of Russian guys Jay, who could beat Man Tracker. They're hiding yeah. in the woods. Yeah. They're hiding. 
They're hiding in the very place where, like, the fucking, the murders happen in Hostel. Let's just... The woods. Let's just remember that they are in a secluded location that's hard to get to. Sure. Okay. All but right. That's just the one... I gotta... We gotta note that, because it... Well, it comes back in about five seconds here. Yeah, it does. All right. I think I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's... It's, it's, it's kind of, yeah. All right. Uh, so, yeah, he goes... You know what? This... this we're always like, like, oh, man... Horror movie boyfriends are just the worst. They're always the worst. This guy, he wakes her up to see if she's hungry. Yeah. How nice. What? And when the reaction he gets... <laughs> <laughs> it's just that right in his face. <coughs> right in his face. I wasn't ready for that. It was I, I just it, it had to come out or else I wasn't going to be able to... Yep. Yeah, so... yeah. Fine. Just, 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 just so like, a, what are you doing? It's three in the morning. Why would I ever want food? How dare you? I was already awake. How dare you talk to me while I'm awake about food? Also, uh, I did my makeup before going to bed. Mm-hmm. Nut house. <laughs> my, my problem with her attitude is this was like her. She, she agreed to this plan. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, a bunch of Eastern European, like, fucking super like mafia organization people are trying to take my head off because i escaped being murdered by them and i need to hide somewhere okay let's go into the woods yeah i know a really give it two nights and i'm gonna be very upset by how upset you are i know a very secluded location that we could go to i'm just gonna tell my sister yeah oh that's one loose end hey I, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't honestly matter who you tell because they're gonna find you. Yeah, that's that's, that's sort of the whole point. He he, he makes a, a good point. Well, a, a great deal of points about how they're yeah they're everywhere and you can't you can't escape the the hunt club. Yep, is what is is that what they're called? It, it, it's I think it's called the elite hunting club. Ah uh, yes. Ask the uh, exact same tattoo that I have on my leg of a bloodhound because of this movie or this movie series, I suppose. I got that shit. Mm, I've had it for years. I feel good about it. I think. I think. If I go to, if I ever go to the Eastern Bloc, dude, I'm gonna fit right in. I'll just wear shorts. They're gonna see that, and no, no, zero homeless children are gonna be asking me for dollars. I need to see your passport. I, I have got you been it right here the, on my leg. Have you been out of the country in the last however long? Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, I, uh, yeah. I think Jay just admitted there's blood on his hands. Oh, dude, and the walls. I I was I was talking to my roommate about this. I was like, "Correct me if I'm wrong, but if properly incentivized, I think I could wrap my head around killing a person." Well, you got the tattoo. Like it wouldn't be you like for well. money or fun, but like you know, like if I saw my mom getting raped, <clears throat> you know, in that case, I I I, I could see it happening. Yeah. <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> See, I'm glad you agree. <laughs> Hostile too, everybody. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get that taste out of your mouth. <clears throat> what else happens in this movie? <laughs> <laughs> so, <coughs> oh Jesus, yeah, I gotta get that taste out of my mouth. That was... I was mad at this chick because of just, like, how dumb. It was her... My my point... I'm obviously rambling because it's early in the fucking morning. And I've had it's, two coffees. It's okay. Uh, like, she was very privy to the situation. Oh, so yeah. She's got no fucking right to complain when he's, you know, scared. Yeah, she agreed it's, to come. That's sort of the whole point. So she wakes up to the sound of a chainsaw. That's right. That's bad. It is. It's not a good start. No, because you're supposed to be in a secluded location. Well, they're in the woods. You know, arborists. The loggers have to exist somewhere. Yeah, but they're supposed to be real deep in the woods, hard to find. Yeah. And well, that's this where all the best trees are. And this isn't like an arborist. This is just a dude trimming her tree out front. Yeah. And this dude is so polite. And he also knows where they are. Yeah. So that's it's not just her sister. Now there's a stranger as well. Yes, a stranger. <laughs> yes, and he and he's just just doing he's just doing his job, which is trimming these sticks off of a dead tree yep. out front. Sure, with a chainsaw. So politely, just hey, how's it going? 
How you doing? Hi. I know that you're here now. Well, I think he's he's known for a while. <laughs> I think he's... I, I didn't know. actually see who it was. I was writing at the time. Oh, no, it's a, just a dude with a chainsaw. Okay, it's just a guy. Yeah, just the a... way that you're talking makes it sound like he makes an appearance again later. No. He... Okay. No, she goes downstairs uh, and, like, she could hear her boyfriend obviously going to town on breakfast, which is... Yeah. It's early in the morning. Well, He's somebody's hungry. going to town on breakfast. Yeah, you, you, you hear a lot of munching. Yeah. You hear you hear a lot of munching happening in the kitchen. Mm. Just, are you hungry now, A lot bitch? of loud munching. Now that the sun's up, like, your yeah. fucking... Your appetite is dependent on the on the rotation of the earth. Yeah, and he, he has to take these pills on a full stomach, so, like... Mm. You gotta make sure it is. Yeah, so, obviously, he's, he's eating away down there. So, she, uh, yeah, she goes down in the kitchen. She's just, you know, oh, cool, guy's here to trim the tree. I definitely scheduled that. Yeah, that's not a shock or surprise at I all. I remember my grandmother telling me that every Wednesday, a guy comes by with a chainsaw and clips a couple sticks off that dead tree out front. At eight in the morning, like the world's worst rooster. Yup. Uh, very pleasant, all the way out in the middle of nowhere. To, uh, just he had, he does it, and it's sun, so nice. Yeah, the, the service that's scheduled. This every... house is accessible enough for him to get there early. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And he knows exactly where it is. Yep. Even though she had been going there since she was a kid, and she could barely find it. Those are her own words. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's important words. Yes. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So that guy must have the GPS. We're down to the kitchen. He's, we're got, go- he's got a pin. We're gonna head down to the kitchen. See, uh, since he would see what. See what's for breakfast. See what the munchin's about. You tell me what's for breakfast. Well, uh, I don't know what what the boyfriend had, but I'll tell you what the what the house cat had. Yeah, neck soup. That's right. It's more like a gumbo. Throat throat slop. <laughs> <laughs> top top of neck hole. Yeah. blood. J- there you go. <laughs> a neck meat. Mm-mm-mm. Esophageal mm. tissues and. Probably just a little bit of milk because he had like a probably had like the cereal. bone marrow comes out white. Well, yeah, yeah, but I'm I'm thinking like there's still probably a little like cereal milk in his right, throat. The cat's right. trying to get at. I don't know who's eating cereal at three in the morning. Oh, well, I mean it's morning now. Yeah, but oh, when did he go down though? Right, has I, he been there all night? Yeah, I guess so. I guess he might have been. You figured you would have heard a lot of screaming. What with somebody cutting somebody's head off with a chainsaw? You would figure that, yeah. You'd figure. There'd be a lot more blood, too. There'd also be a lot uh, louder of a chainsaw indoors. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I guess I'd like to think that it happened outside. She's a very heavy sleeper. Yeah. That's, what it, that's fine. She's got, she's got uh, what's it, narcolepsy. She's... And when she's out, she's fucking out. It's a surprise. She's got narcoslepsy, which is where you do heroin until you pass out. Okay. Sure. Right? That is, is that show about heroin or cocaine? It's about cocaine. Ah, fuck. About fucking Pablo Escobar. Get your shit together. I don't know. I just saw a white powder. And I'm like, I don't know. That's probably... Pedro yeah. Pascal. That's that's uh, that's a delightful actor. Yeah, everybody, every chick I talk to has got a wet puss for that guy. And I don't know why. I mean, I'm not saying I'm wet over here. I'm just saying, like, I kind of want to watch the, the massive... Weight of unbearable talent, or what is it? The unbearable weight of massive talent. Yeah, sure. I haven't, uh, I haven't seen too much about it. All I know is that I'm pretty sure one of the uh, Asian women from Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, is in it. It's pop- probably. She's allowed to be in movies, Jay. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's an uh, observation. What, what are you implying? I'm well. I'm implying that The Last of Us was a pretty okay show. Oh well, I'm implying that I didn't even like the game. Well, I'm gonna tell you what. I don't remember what that is. Well, I mean, the TV show is based on a video game, Matt. Oh, I thought you meant like a movie, The Game. I was like, is he in that? I don't oh, know. Oh, no, the the game, The Last of Us. Well, let me tell you what. Wasn't great. I haven't owned a console since Xbox 360, and a- I, frankly, don't quite understand and know what's going on. <laughs> I, uh, I'm on the outside of the circle, and I look in, and I go, yeah. Spider-Man 2? Uh, yeah, uh, though. Yeah, though. I haven't seen the movies yet. I, that doesn't matter. I know. Have you ever played Spider-Man 2 on the GameCube? No, because I thought that's what it was. I was like, did they remaster that? No, they just... And it's like modern... Look, I just saw... I it. mean, Spider-Man, Spider-Man, you're fucking swinging around in New York. Did what, I, like, what, what more do you want? Did I send you the Call of Duty thing? I don't know, maybe. The guy's like, the names of Call of Duty is fucking confusing. Cause oh, yeah, because like, Modern Warfare, and there's five of them. Yeah, yeah, Modern F- Warfare 2, 2. Two, three, <laughs> and the three is either the number three or three lines. Yep, depending on which. That's I don't right. Know, and then version. somewhere, somewhere in there is a war zone. Yeah, and then he's, he's mad about war zone, and I, that's the same thing. That's me with everything, though. I'm like, well, <laughs> I thought that was already out. 
Didn't that come out like five years ago? No, I, they do it with movies too. It's, it just all always sucks. G- come up with another name for your thing. Yeah, just put a colon in there. Maybe why is everybody making, afraid of colons? Maybe just make the best PlayStation and then stop coming out with new ones, so I can buy one and know that I won't have to buy another one next year. Well, you won't next year. That's the nice thing about console versus PC. Oh, are, you got to replace the PC shit like once every two years. But I got a PS5. I guarantee you, I'm good for half a decade. Let me tell you what. You're good until they come up with the next one, and then no longer do the game's backwards compatibility, hey, man, forwards compatibility. They all do that. Yep. Not uh, not forwards, but backwards. You can play PS. I can play Grand Theft Auto Three right now at home. I, mean, I can play it. On, I can play it on this. Yeah, you can. I, I mean, the the graphics card is just as old, so <laughs> I'm, I'm 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 not gonna update that shit. What do you, what do you think I'm gonna update that shit for? Oh man. It does what I need it to do, Jay. It, you're gonna be I, in I can play Fortnite. Once they update, yeah, once they update Fortnite for fucking 6K, you're in trouble. That doesn't matter. I already play it at like 24 frames a second here. So That's it's not enough anymore. No. <laughs> no, it's not. It's all good, though. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm making it happen. It's like watching a film. <laughs> it's like it's like watching that, that, that scene in Batman uh, The Dark Knight where he's in the tunnel and they're shooting and it's just flashes and he's just like, techno dancing yeah 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 that's me playing most video games <laughs> i shoot where i think they're gonna be yeah you it's you gotta predict <laughs> based on the frame rate yeah all right he's gonna move about two meters the second that this fucking shit refreshes i could get a new computer or i could have that fucking beautiful mind thing go off in my head every time i yeah. gotta pull the trigger rain man at the fucking craps table <sighs> cat licking his neck yeah head in box for russian ringleader mm-hmm yeah, well, I, for some reason, everybody the f- the further east you go in Europe, the more people become just Russian. <clears throat> That's everybody's Russian past like Italy. You go further east than Italy, and everybody becomes Russian slowly. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I'm not gonna lie. When I look at a map of Europe, you're not wrong. Like, <laughs> it's all so small and clustered. Like, like fucking. You imagine everybody's a gypsy there. Italy, Germany, Poland, and and you, it's like a line. The rest. It's like a line, and yeah. you go over, yeah. and it's just like everybody on that side of the line. Suddenly, there's K's in words where they shouldn't be. R's are upside down and backwards. Very upsetting. Yeah, some of the letters are just a box. Because <laughs> your phone can't. Your phone has no <laughs> fucking idea what it is. It's a box with an X in it. <laughs> Oh, so yeah, we're in, we're in Europe now. That's yeah, just where we are. We are in Rome, specifically. Okay. You know how I know? Because this fucking teacher with her cleavage agape is speaking Italian, and we're doing live model class, where <laughs> I gotta give props to Eli Roth a couple times throughout this movie. This uh, shot specifically, he had her walk to just out of center of frame for... For a second and a half, long enough to see just an uncircumcised penis in the background. You get to just see a man's penis. I'm so happy I wasn't looking. Within the first fucking five to ten minutes of this movie, dick. Oh man, what is this, 28 Days Later? Yes, it might as well be. Um, I was, I was, when that happened, I was writing, um, Tarantino wouldn't want you to see what's in the box. No. Well, you don't really get to see. It's implied. Yeah. But, I mean, it's it's implied and then confirmed later. Just like in the movie Pulp Fiction. <clears throat> yeah. Which they're watching on the TV later. Yeah, they are. Uh, not in English. Well, yeah, they wouldn't... They'd be like, what, what is this? <laughs> what? Are they, what? We're in Europe. What? I mean, the front desk what? guy can speak English about what? as well as... They all can speak English. That's true. They do all <laughs> speak English. They just choose not to a lot. <laughs> So uh, yeah, when I tune, when I tune, turn like when I when I started paying attention here, we got Lola who's just looking at this dick and balls. Oh, first of all, her name is Lorna. Is it? I, I but oh. it sounds like it's fine. The, whose name is fucking Lorna, except for the band Lorna Shore? Well, I I, I was hearing I, I think I was hearing the teacher's accent because she's like, hey, yeah. Lorna, no, 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 don't oh, look yeah. the dick and balls so much. <laughs> <laughs> are you drawing? Are you drawing the testicles so much? Eh? Would the would? Eh? I uh, forgot they were in Rome, so I had to start making it Italian halfway through. Yeah, I noticed. Hey. But you did a good job. You salvaged it. Yes, you're spending too much time on looking at the spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> you gotta pay attention to the whole rigatoni. You can't. You can't just be drawing dick and balls over here, Lordy. You're killing me. <laughs> 
the spaghetti and me. <laughs> You're killing me with the dick and balls, Lorna. You're killing me. <laughs> what would your mother think? <laughs> Why you no eat, uh, Lorna? Don't look at the dick and balls. What's the matter? You don't like? <laughs> Fuck. I'm sorry, Italy. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> They make, they try for like five seconds to be like art scholar by just mentioning Botticelli. Like, oh, they say Botticelli like 800 times. The, the yeah. dick and balls and all the Botticelli paintings are yeah. just exquisite. He's a painter. All right. It's, it's not like a huge deal. I don't know. I don't know any of his paintings, but they, by the way they talk, they're all dick and balls. There's, a, there's a name for uh, the person who like ambles around in an art gallery and explains paintings to people who don't understand them. A dick and I, ball licker. Yeah, we'll just, yeah. The movie's trying to be I, a dick and ball licker here. I, I think it's called a, 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 oh, I lost the word, Jay. It starts with a D. I don't remember. A dick and it's, ball yeah. licker. <laughs> We're, I, just, we're just gonna call it that. I was trying to say the word tour guide. Dick and a ball, like a. A dick and a ball, a ball, a ball. The, so there we yeah, go. whatever Botticelli is, uh, Lorna is obsessed with the dick and balls and all yeah. the Botticellis. I uh, got pissed at the fucking uh, the person running this um, whatever you would call it art workshop, this live form workshop Out, outside because There's you naked yeah. man outside it. You're just That's looking what it at. Is. Yeah, naked man overlooking the majority of the city outside. It's a beautiful day to get some sun on my taint. Yeah, uh, don't look up. Fucking, uh, but she's got, so she's got lip fillers, and she's got probably fake-ass tits. Cleave just out mm -mm. all the time. But, like, teaching a class about the the beauty of the natural human form. Like, you're not that, though. Mm-hmm. Hypocritical mm -hmm. ass. Hypocritical. Unbelievable. And this is when I realized, so, three main characters in this movie. We get Lorna, Beth, and... Whitney, mm -hmm. which is unfortunate for you, yeah, because she's a dumb bitch. <laughs> but uh, Beth is the main main character. You know immediately that she's the final girl because she's right in between the hot and the ugly one of the trio. So you know that she's gonna last the longest, right away. No. Oh. Also. Oh no. I was like, I recognize her. So I looked it up. You know who? You know who Beth is? Who's Beth? Beth is the gun pussy chick from Texas Chainsaw Massacre who blows a hole in the back of her head. How's that for you? She's you in that movie for 30 seconds just to take a gun out of her twat and stick it in her mouth like she wants to taste it, and I remembered her face. Yeah. That really left an impression on you, huh? It says more about me than it does about her. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I guess you throw uh, eight layers of filth on her. That could be her. <laughs> Eight layers of filth and Texan sand from a cemetery. Oh my god! Um, so yeah, we're 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 swapping out the dick and balls. We're bringing in yeah. a set of tits. We're bringing in yeah the hot Eastern European model. Now, and immediately the hoops, the hoops and haulers, Jay. Oh my god! We, let's get let's get a couple shots of guys salivating, and then we'll uh we'll cut back to our our three main female characters being jealous that another woman is attractive, mm. because every woman hates an attractive woman and, in like, this world. The, the dudes are literally a wooga-ing over her. Uh, yes, they might as well just be saying a wooga. Yeah, uh, yeah. Cue the eye roll from everybody who feels insecure now. Oh God, the tongues out, eyeballs shooting out of their heads. You're at an art class. The tits are already out. They, Stop yeah. making sounds. You're going to scare her into putting her shirt back on, you if, fucks. Yeah, it's not like tits are new at the at the nude form art class. Why are you catcalling the nude model? Oh, yeah. This is, like, she's at work. Has that ever worked for any person ever? <laughs> for any guy on earth? Oh. Some construction worker in fucking like a Manhattan high rise. Just be like, I'd like to get a closer look at those. And the chick's like, oh, really? Well, give me a second. Like, that's never in the history of human interaction has that ever happened. I think it'd be really funny to, if that happened, um, but like, when when they yell that kind of shit, she just kind of turns her head and screams like a zombie and just starts <laughs> running full blast at them. I saw a video of this chick do that. Uh, not literally that, but her response to being catcalled was to whip out her phone, walk right up to the guy, he's in a car, and just film his face and be like, hey, fucking cocksucker, and then she kicked his car. Nice. I was like, That's the way to respond to that. Yep. You know? Because what's he going to do? Complain? He brought this on himself. Yep, that's what you get. Sometimes you get crazy people. <laughs> uh, fucking, yeah, for some reason I wrote, 
I must not have written anything between the model showing up and being the hottest person in the fucking within a five kilometer radius and uh, her buying the painting. That's about all that happens. That is all that happens. And they're like, oh, we're we got to go to Prague. Yeah, we're going to Prague. Um, we're going to Prague. So we you can't buy me a drink. But here's a I drew your tits. Um, Enjoy. So I wrote not the greatest time to be watching a movie wherein someone passively bad mouths Ukraine on the phone. Yeah. There's a there's uh, uh, some kind of fucking phone call. She's like, I don't want to go to fucking Ukraine or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah. She's she's, she's on the phone with her dad, and her dad's like, Right. I'll, I'll, no, I'll get you a good hotel. Don't worry. Yeah. She's like, We're going to Prague. It's not Ukraine. Yeah. Get a hold of yourself, Dad. It's not Ukraine. You don't where... have to be concerned about safety. I'm not going to Ukraine where I'll get raped and murdered. I'm not going to Ukraine where I'm going to get catfished by a woman <laughs> who's just getting all my money, and I get to go there and meet her, and she never shows up. And I just keep showing up like an idiot every fucking couple months. 90 Day Fiance. Okay. It's a great I, show. I wasn't sure what you were it's referencing. It's a great That's fine. show. I only know Big Ed. Oh, Big Ed. Then there's another guy who, um, he like falls in love with a cam model. Mm. And she's from Ukraine. And and she just keeps being like, yeah, fucking come. Send me money. You you, sure. you send me money. But sure, yeah, right oh, yeah I'll, I'll meet you. Don't worry. And then she like doesn't like five times. Of course. And he keeps coming back being like, oh, she'll be here. Why wouldn't you learn after the first one? Why would you even get, go? Hire an escort, dude. There's, You're trying to get your dick touched? There, there are people who like you can pay them 200 bucks and they look decent and they'll do it for you. There are people who are desperate. Yeah. Who will just touch your dick. Th that's true. You give them a, like a roof over their head for a night, they'll probably... By the way, you're old, and she's like 20. Yikes. She's not going to touch your dick. My favorite part of the Big Ed was uh, when he went back to that, like, whatever. She's like Thai or Filipino or she, something. Yeah, yeah, the Philippines. And, like, what? You live in this fucking sheet metal shack with a bucket for a shower? That's disgusting. My hair is very important to me. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's like... It's How am I supposed and... to wash my hair in this filthy bucket from the janitor's closet? I refuse to shower next to this rat. <laughs> She's like, well, get used to it because I got five yeah. more and guess, I don't own them. Guess what? For no reason, the ceiling doesn't touch the walls and the walls don't touch the floor. So there's rats. <laughs> rats just come in through holes. Yeah, to be honest, we're in their way. <laughs> I just rent this. <laughs> That's my landlord. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god. Philippines. Uh, we eat bugs for sport. Yep. So um yeah, uh oh yeah, so now uh, at this point we're like, oh yeah, we're going to Prague and right. Lorna wants to come. Yeah, she does. We hate Lorna. We, what is it about uh a group of three women and always two of them hate the third? Why well why In would movies you, like this anyway? Why did you bring Lorna? Uh because we're trying to break her out of her shell that she uh really uh, should have just stayed in. Yeah. Should have stayed right oh. in that Russian nesting doll instead of just taking the heads off until she was exposed. Yeah, until until you pull out the little baby within. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. Uh, should have stayed sheltered, Lorna. It and like your your introduction. Paint another naked dick and just fuck off. Your inter your two introductions to Lorna is her yeah looking at this dick. Yeah. And then your second introduction to her is added in mouth sounds like. Really <laughs> aggressive mouth sounds because they're just like, ew, Lorna's gross. And then you get. Yeah. Well, she's got a lot of gum to work around. Her mouth isn't even moving. No. Her mouth. Yeah. She's not even. And like, you're just, you're just looking and she's like, mm, I'm going to write in my uh, travel journal so I can reflect. It's, it's funny. Like, poor Lorna. A hundred percent poor Lorna. She's just trying to be herself, man. She's just. She's. Her, the whole movie. These are her. Best friends that yeah. she thinks so they, are her best friends. So they essentially drug her and get her murdered. Some friends you got. Great, Lorna. Yeah. Great. You should have gone with uh, your mother. Your mother never would have did this Literally to you. wrote, this character doesn't do anything but enjoy your trip and these two girls hate her for it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, uh, when, right after the, right after the Prague announcement... Uh, one thing that happens in this movie a lot is that there's a lot of lingering shots of people um, changing their face once they're out of eyesight yeah. in order to show how ulterior their motives are. That's that's what you missed uh, in between her pulling her tits out and her buying the painting was her looking at the main character. While yeah, she, I saw that. And then, and then after she gets the painting, she just stands there and like watches yeah. them. And the smile turns into a very serious face. Like, I got something up my sleeve. Boy, oh boy. That's the first time you see it, and then like four or five other times throughout the movie, you see it again mm -hmm. from different characters. 
just in case you weren't aware, that, everybody yeah, in Europe is evil. Literally everybody in this movie is in on it except for the main characters in the movie. Don't go to Europe. You're going to get skinned. Yep. Uh, Bare minimum. Yep. Um. So, uh, uh, we're I, on the train to Prague. Is that where we are? Yeah. Right oh, after yeah, the painting, yep. we get on the train to Prague. Here we go. They added gross mouth sounds over her for no reason. Yeah. Well, she's journaling. She's got a, you know, about it. <laughs> you got, oh my God. Uh, I called her the snail. <laughs> <laughs> before I before I could get her name, I, I called her the snail. Oh my god, Gail the snail. Yeah, Perfect. so they they leave Gail the snail to journal, and they go get drinks, and she like pops her headphones in. Yeah, and as they leave, there's this guy just like blasts through them. Like, yeah, I uh, you I don't know if you noticed, but one side of his face is lower than the other. <laughs> I had no idea. No, no, I didn't. I I just wrote he was a horrible old man. Well, he fucking behaves like Voldemort for Christ's sake. He just sure creeping does. Creeping in on this poor girl journaling with headphones on. If if you want to picture him, picture the dude from Harry Potter, not 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 no. Voldemort, but the 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 guy with the cat, the groundskeeper, not Hagrid, yeah, yeah, but the yeah. guy who's just like, what are you kids doing out at night? I'm out at night for no reason. Cat's name is like Mr. Tittles. Yeah, or some shit like that. Yeah, that that's what this man looks yeah. like. He like operates the library. Something like some shit like that. He's got a job. Who knows? N- He's got a job at a courtesy. There's all these magicians like, yeah, I mean, we might as well. Otherwise, he'd be under a bridge. <laughs> not not like not like because he's poor, but choice. Because it, troll. It, it would be and choice. Yeah, yeah. Like Randy Blythe before he fucking joined Lamb of God. I watched the fucking, this behind the music documentary about Randy Blythe and his story to like getting into vocal, doing the vocals for fucking Lamb of God. And he took the, the crew to this. It was like underneath a highway overpass, and there's a bridge over a river. Mm. And he was like, yeah, I slept here for uh, months and months. And to be honest, without Lamb of God, I would still be here, because I don't give a fuck. All right, man. Interesting. Cool. Well. Sick. As long as you don't give a fuck. Yeah. Um, Get accused of murder in Prague. In hey. Prague. Well. He went to jail for a while because it, he was accused of murder in Prague. It's You know what? I actually remember that. Yeah. It's fun to bring well, a full that's circle what, like that. That's what happens when a fan tries to do a stage dive and nobody catches him. Mm. It's not really his fault. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe don't jump into people who aren't willing to hold their arms out. I don't know why anybody stage dives. Honestly, it's a fucking 50-50 shot. Yeah. Imagine you're walking down the street and somebody just jumps into your arms like a ballet performance. Oh, I'm... Catch me! I'm stepping to the side immediately. Yeah, I'm going to do the opposite of catch you. Because guess what? You're probably sweaty. Yeah. Ew. Gross. I'm not touching your wet back. mm. Just so you can have a million people touch you. Yeah, I'm good. You want your fucking... Your Hillary Swank moment? I'm Mm. not going to be the victim. No. Gross. Uh, So, yeah, we're we're leaving. So, we're going to leave Lorna. To fucking yeah, and this leave guy the, uh, leave the most innocent and naive white girl on your backpacking college trip in the train car alone. Yeah, and sh- not gonna lock the door. You're not gonna lock the door. All right. Well, I just put my headphones in so I can't hear my surroundings in Eastern Europe. Yeah, I would hate for a creepy pervert to know exactly where you are and slip the door open. Yeah, slip the door open and then phase through during a small tunnel. Yeah. Oh my God. He made his move in the dark. <laughs> Never trust anybody who does that. No. No. Uh, <laughs> so we're... <laughs> well, that's happening. We're at the... We're in a party car. And guess what? The nude model's here and she's bought you a drink. Run. Yes. Because your excuse to not get a drink with her was because was you gotta go. And now she's followed you clearly or else she would have been like, me too! Yup. Uh, I... Uh, you convinced me to go on a spontaneous trip. Hey, if it was... If I had convinced you to go on a spontaneous trip, you would have made that choice when I said I was going. Yeah, you would have been you like... You wouldn't have just popped into the exact same train that I'm in. Yeah, I get Europe's a small place, but... It ain't that small. Yeah. There's more than one train. Oh, Ask yeah. Ask Germany. Mm. They had a bunch of them. But one location. That's... <laughs> well, one, one, one final stop, unfortunately. <laughs> one terminal. <laughs> and it was... Terminal. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, that, immediately, throw that out. You didn't order it, throw yep. that out. Yup. Uh, if you look at it, very dark on the bottom. Yeah. I don't know if that's just the way the drink is layered, but it's got a very dark liquid on the bottom. For some reason, Eastern Europeans only drink stouts. Yeah. It's just very dark beer. Ugh. This uh, is my favorite, asshole. Ugh! Okay, fine. That's fine. I'll, I'll be the only one with a palate. That's fine. You have your palate. Love mm. it. I hope one day it's cleft. 
That's what you get for drinking your fucking beers. Oh, your shit. dark, thick beers. Yeah, get that foam. Um, so th- this blonde girl, her name is Whitney. And um, I don't know, she holds out a cigarette. Yeah. And that's just, that's cue for any man to come by and light it. So she sees a guy who is uh, uh, wetter than the rain and goes, watch this. And holds out the cigarette so he can come over and light it. Hello, I am European, and this is... Yeah, it's for not some rain- reason, we bathe in hair gel. It's not raining out. It's just me. Yeah, I didn't just come from the water park. Mm, I just look like this. Wet and wild, naturally. <laughs> and uh, also dirty. Also the dirtiest man. So let's go back to my train car because I want weed and ecstasy. And, and yes, I, I we're, we're going to ask a dirty stranger mm-hmm. for Drugs. things to put in my body. Yeah. That I, I mean, I'm not going to be able to check. No, I'm just going to trust him. I'm going to trust the dirty man. All right, dirty man. Dirty man from a swamp. And so they were like, yeah, we're looking for, and they just name every drug. I think she starts naming drugs and then her, and then Beth is like, sarcastically yeah, like, yeah, yeah, and yeah. then also let's get the ones that'll kill us too. Yeah. Uh, uh, Whitney goes, uh, we're looking for butt and ecstasy. And then uh, did, anything else? Oh, you know, PCP, meth, bath salts. Uh, fentanyl, just, you know, crocodile. Since we're in e- Eastern Europe anyway, you might as well put gasoline into my veins. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I trust your tracksuit. Let's- but that's not reason enough to be like, now nah, we're not going to go back to the graffiti tag train car with your friend who's just stabbing the hip bones of a Sears catalog model. Oh, my God. What did I write? He's yeah. just got a fucking magazine with a knife, and he's just fucking tapping away at the most vulnerable part of a woman in it. Yeah, so there, he makes a follow him back. I wrote, uh, they follow a stranger back to his train car that's full of graffiti <laughs> and likely criminals tapping a knife on pornography. Like, who's tagging the train car? These people. Those are not people you trust. These are people who make everything around them worse by being there. But the implication is that they can get away with it. Well, yeah. Which means... Watch him tap the knife on the genitals. I'm going to go home now. I'm not even going to go back to my train car. I'm going home. Well, yeah. You've just met people who not only read pornography... Yeah, but interact with it physically with blades. Read? Flip through the pornography. Yeah, yeah. For the articles. Yeah, and then... No, and then go... They don't go, oh, I'm done with this, and hide it. They No, it's how they it open. Wide open. Oh, yeah. So that they may tap a knife. Look at how done with this I was 30 seconds ago. Yeah. This is the only page that isn't stuck down. Yeah. This is the only way I can open the magazine. This is with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> and then we only got just the one between us. Fuck. Yeah. It's not, it's not great. So immediately, I don't want drugs from these people. Oh, I didn't want drugs with them from the beginning. No, but this is this is just solidified that decision. Mm-hmm. And 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 like immediately he's like, well, I uh, hold on, I'm, I'm just looking for the drugs, the, you know, the 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 generic drugs I keep. Yeah, in, in I'm my, having in my backpack, rifling through my bag. I can't find the drugs. Don't mind my friend getting within three inches of you to tell you how good you smell. Mm-hmm, that's that's mm-hmm. fine and perfectly normal behavior in Italy. Uh, so they try to make like the like it's just a, a good move and go. I'm I'm out of here and. That's when they get aggressive. Like, nah, hold on, stay. I'm going to find the drugs. Motherfucker grabs her arm and they just chill for a second longer. Like, really? And then, yeah, like neck bearded incels who think that wiping your butt is gay. <laughs> they get one whiff of rejection <laughs> and immediately go, I'll kill you later. <laughs> I really hope there's not people like that. They uh, for sure exist. Well, then I hope they get infections. Well, they probably do. It's just abscess city over there. Who the fuck's got time to shower every time you do that? Oh, the, no, not even that. Oh, my God. They just God. leave it. So, um, yeah, the, the the one guy, like, starts to hit on him, and they're like, nah, we gotta go. We left our friend here. Oh, you got a friend? One, two, three, perfecto. Mm. Or else we'd have to take turns. Mm. Get out of there. <laughs> you gotta go. <laughs> you gotta... You gotta go, like, now. That implies so much more. Get a set of handcuffs and attach yourself to whatever security guard or police officer is on this train for the rest of the ride. Holy guacamole. Good goddamn. And this is where we find out that Beth does not like to be called a cunt. No, she, uh, it's actually her least favorite thing to be called. Yeah. In the world. Yeah, she, if you call her a cunt, it's not going to end well for you. No. At varying degrees, but either way, the, the moral of the story is don't do that. Yeah. Uh, so, 
Do you have two sentences or less to spoil this film? Because I... Um, I did. Uh, uh... Fuck. It's around here somewhere. Hold on. I, I just remembered. And do I? I might have had one, too. Um... Oh fuck! There's no way I'm gonna find it. My, my, it's like because I wrote it as a note and then I ah, started because it was going to be it. Gotcha. But I see it right there at the bottom. Oh no! Because there's like seventeen. Oh, okay. Of them, so I don't know which one it is anymore. M mine was uh, never trust a guy in a leather jacket. That's what it is. Mine's never take a drink from somebody who looks like their name would be Dracoir Noir. <laughs> <laughs> Dracoir Noir. Times better. That's so much better, dude. Did you know it's a real cologne? Yeah. For real. And everybody in this movie looks like that's their name. Yes. You're right. Uh, also, that that's a Family Guy joke that's a parody of the movie Taken, which I swear to God, if you had put those actors in this movie, I wouldn't have been able to tell the fucking difference. Oh, God. It, They're all the exact fucking same. If they, if they weren't being taken to be murdered... This would be the movie Taken. It would be, yeah. Because something bad is still going to happen to them. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's uh, so we're, we're getting, we get into a fight with these with these Dracoir Noirs here, yeah. and uh, uh, they say a lot of horrible things to these women. <laughs> yeah, it's not really a great idea to like start a fight with people when you're on a train. Yeah, because where are you going to go? Yeah, as one, as one end of the tube or the other end. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> there's there's an Archer episode. Where they talk about this, they get on the top of it in order to have a fight on the top of the train, mm -hmm. and they're like this is kind of actually really dumb because you're still on the train. Oh yeah, no matter what, you're on the train. Make nice, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, because you still got to be on that train until yeah, or I mean until you get murdered. Uh, but that that doesn't happen. Um, they just leave. <laughs> they just leave, and the guy's like, "Hey, we'll come visit you." Yeah, we'll get you, we'll catch you later. And so as they're walking, they catch, like, the doodly gaze of about a thousand men. Yeah. Which what is that? It, it's inconsequential, but I I can only assume it's some kind of, like, fucking soccer party because you know how rowdy they get in Europe over soccer. Yeah. Oh, oh, they love that shit. And, you know, there are hot women adjacent. So, uh, every, you know, every guy in the world salivates when there's somebody who's 110 pounds nearby. Oh, yeah. They, they can't handle They can't handle it. Yeah. I went, I went out on Halloween, uh, and my girlfriend was dressed up as Sailor Moon. You that was many, a mistake. I was dancing with her. You know how many pats on the back I got from other dudes? Oh, oh, and God. And, like, trying to, like, jam his hand in there to, like, shake shake her hand. Like, uh, what the fuck? What is this? That's the worst, because you know that they're being like, yeah, nice one, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he, he, that's what he said. Really good job you did. <laughs> being able to fuck that piece of meat. Thanks, bro. Holy shit. Why do you think I don't go anywhere anymore? Yeah. Uh, Fuck. Men are gross. <laughs> uh, I, I also like got to like watch just... So my uh, I, I was dressed as Tuxedo Mask. I nice. had the sunglasses on and yep. I was watching guys yep. like just watch. Yep. Really creepy. Really it, creepy no, shit sure out is. there. Mm -hmm. You should there's... wear sunglasses to the bar and just watch guys. I, I, at the expense of sounding racist, there's a certain group of individuals who are very egregious <laughs> when it comes to attractive women. Yikes! That's that's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> so we get back to our friend, and <laughs> she's had her iPod stolen, and that's it. Yeah, that's oh, the only thing. She's fucking devastated. Not but, her virginity, just her iPod. And like, well, yeah, she still got that intact. Don't yeah. worry. Well, she clearly still has that intact. Uh, uh, and like, out of all all of the things that could have happened to you, your iPod got stolen. Cut your losses. Yeah, take fine. the L. Yeah. In Eastern Europe and yeah, you lost sucks. your iPod. You sucks. lost your, like, it's not even the touchscreen iPod. It's the one with the wheel still. Yeah, it's not your phone. Yeah. You didn't lose your phone. Who cares? Y you lost You lost the U2 album. Unfortunately, Shit. that had music on it that she uses to stim, probably. Probably. <laughs> uh, by how upset she got, probably. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, don't worry because here's the model. Thank God. How the fuck did she know? I wrote in all caps. <clears throat> How did the model know which car they were in? How did she get the iPod? Was why wasn't she accosted by the same horny grease balls that stole it? Well, that or that fucking creepy guy. She was, and she said she fought him off, and he dropped it. Yeah, baloney. Um, so you're again soaking wet, less than 120 pounds. You're not fighting off anybody who's audacious enough to go into a train car and steal an iPod. No, there's no way. Uh, so already this is dubious as fuck. You, first thing you tried to do was get me drunk after you followed me onto a train. 
Yeah. Let, let's hang out all trip. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I think one of them goes to leave, and, and those, like, those guys are coming, and they're checking doors, so they, like, yeah, lock yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, And then they hear, like, a bang, 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 and, like, oh, shit. And but then it's her. Yeah, it's her with the iPod. Yeah. Um, so now like, we also, now we trust her. Now she's our best friend. What though. a bo- like so much time has passed. Also, the chick is sobbing in the train car. Her iPod has been stolen, and then this model shows up. But there was enough time to have a drink at the bar, get accosted by three Italian scumbags, and then come back. Yeah, timeline doesn't add up, guys. No, there's a lot of timelines that don't add up here. I have questions. Uh, yeah, I I, I I've got no answers, but like <laughs> other things I want to point out and go. What's up with that? Yup. Uh, so that's fine. We got a new best friend. Yeah. We're and gonna her... let this stranger who we've seen her titties out. Yeah. We're gonna let her stay. Well, the, there's just a level some of girl who just there. pulls her fucking tits out for whoever. We're gonna let her. I'm yeah. kidding. I'm kidding. And her first thought is, we should go to Slovakia because there's hot water there. There's yeah. really hot water that just occurs naturally on Earth. Yeah. It, it just it takes her being like hot springs for uh, Lorna to be like. Yes! <laughs> right away, soaked at the idea of... Soaked about getting soaked. Just, like, back up against the wall, just like... Mm. We gotta go! It's not like you could find that anywhere else. I just flipped a tap on, and that water wasn't nearly naturally hot enough. <laughs> uh, so, that's the... Now we're, we're yeah. set. Fuck Prague. We're going to switch yeah. trains at Prague. My entire trip could go fuck off. I'm yeah. going to a hot spring. Let's have a stranger bring us to a second location we've not heard of. I could hard, I could bet, I could bet more money than the fucking it costs to stay in this hostel for a night, which is 10 euros or $15 Canadian. Hey, Jay. $15 for a night at a, ho- at a hostel. Guess what? I'll take my chances on the street. Nice job spoiling the film. Yeah, they go to a hostel, everybody. They go to a hostel. That's the reveal. She's is like, though? she's like, where can we go? The next shot is the word hostel on the side of a building. <laughs> it's the same one from the first movie. Yes. You can tell because of the Spoiled front desk it. agent. Oh, oh, you mean, you mean European McLovin? <laughs> yes. You mean European McLovin? I feel like they make that joke in the first movie. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. They call, they call one of the Russian guys Borat. Yeah. Well, she's a bitch. But yeah. And you know what? He, the guy's still like, yeah, I'm going to put it in you. Yeah. Borat. Ha yeah. ha. Oh, Oh, my cousin Bilo. Listen. My cousin Bilo, he he get it. She's good looking. She can get away with a couple things. <laughs> he probably, it's it's fucking, ru- he's Russian. He probably has no idea what Borat is. They probably no. don't let that happen they- because they're <laughs> like, this is bad for business. It's bad. <laughs> this makes us look bad. Also, they just got Ali G yesterday. <laughs> they're not at Borat until 2028. <laughs> We can't confuse him like that. Yeah. He looks like the same guy. I don't understand. What the Sasha Baron Cohen f- just drip in? Because w- once once they get to fucking the dictator, he's not going to yeah. handle that shit. No. Well, it's too political. Yeah. All they know is strife. They're certainly not going to let Bruno in. <laughs> well, that's that's one thing they're not going to let happen. At this point, I want to point out also that Beth's um, name in real life is literally Lauren German. Nice. That's it. Okay, good good point. Thanks for pointing that out. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we walk into this fucking hostel. And let me tell you, Pulp Fiction's on TV. It sure is. And everybody's going to turn around and look at these people. Yeah. Everybody. Uh, these two actors uh, sitting on the couch watching uh, Pulp Fiction are the worst actors in the movie. Because their whole job is to turn around and then turn back. And you can tell that they're faking it. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> Somehow they're just being shitty at it. Yeah. At, at moving their body. At paying attention to new things in the room, <laughs> <laughs> just, just being conscious and and twisting, they're just fucking bad. Um, so uh, oh, here we go. You've been taken to a bad place when the guy behind the counter is the European McLovin, and he's got a flyer for something that's going to be sexy good times. Yeah, and run really enthusiastic run. about you attending it. Oh my god, please also, come. Any any place, any any, not a hot, not just hostels, a hotel. A motel. A Holiday Inn? Yep, you can count that. Fuck yeah. Uh, A friend's house? If the first thing you do is give someone your passport and they keep it, go elsewhere. Go elsewhere. Get get your passport back. Yeah, definitely get your passport back, but go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Because you need that to do anything. 
Yeah, yeah, it's very interesting um, that nobody went, well, what do you need my passport for? This is yeah. a hostel. You can have my money, and I'll take the room, and that's really the end of the transaction. You don't need I... to know much more about me other than the fact that I'm going to be sleeping in this bunk bed with yeah. three friends. And maybe fucking. The, maybe. Sort of the whole point here is that you... That we don't know each other like that. Yeah. Because it's a hostel where anyone and everyone stays. There's going to be people coming and also going. I don't want you to know my two middle names. Yeah, you don't need to know that. And also... Address? Yeah. Phone number, probably? Just probably some, like, some shits you need for your identity. Yeah. I, I gotta that. imagine it's on there. Would you also like to have my social security number, sir? Like... You might as well. Here, scan. You got the scanner upstairs because he uses it. Give me my passport back. Look, you might as well have just slit your own fucking throat. He took your passport. <laughs> You're not going to be seen again. You don't exist anymore. <laughs> it's Moldova, dude. Think about <laughs> it. Is it Moldova? Uh, no, it's Slovakia, okay. but still. Because uh, they're the same. We, we almost got into another 90 day fiance conversation. <laughs> well, it boy, might as well oh boy. Be. People right. from Moldova, they sure do like to come to America. Yeah, they do. And they sure do all look like Greek gods yeah, for some fucking, fucking reason. Fucking obsession with tracksuits. Yeah, they're... <laughs> they fucking love Adidas. Long hair, tracksuits. Favorite band, Corn from 1998. Squatting and a bottle of vodka. Yeah. Sunglasses, posted up. A bottle of vodka with no bag around it at 9 a.m. Moldova. Yeah. It's, fucking... It's the name of our there, country man. sounds like a cockroach. Like a species of bug. It, it sounds fucking sounds like a bottle of flaming alcohol you've thrown through a window. Yeah, yeah. The Moldova it does. cocktail. You're right. It's where it, you make it, but it's like super cheap. You know, Molotov cocktail is named after a guy. Yeah, I didn't know that until I, like this I week. I did, and I forget. I I forget how he came up with it and why it mm, came into existence. I, I don't know either. It was um I. I forget. It's I, just when you can't get any fireworks. It's not in season, you know. Hey, when we're not around fucking Canada Day, and when, I want me, I want to make something explode. When somebody, when you or somebody have done something terrible, and well, you got to either cover it up or teach mm -hmm. a lesson. Fucking better than Albert Einstein, this inventor. <clears throat> fucking Oppenheimer, just <laughs> <laughs> it's a, the fucking nail bomb of op the Oppenheimer of nail bombs. When you throw a Molotov oh. cocktail, you have to say, "I am become death, destroyer of worlds." <clears throat> I have become death, destroyer of documents. <laughs> 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 Destroyer of my shitty neighbor's house. <laughs> I have become death. Casher in of insurance fraud. <laughs> Poof. <laughs> uh, so sexy good times. We're yeah. No, no I'm. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm actually good. gonna have regular good times that yeah. don't involve sex with European strangers. But don't worry about it. Uh, Whitney is gonna say it sounds kind of gay. Until a uh, neck-bearded, fucking pencil-chin-beard, like, fucking douchebag Chris Griffin from that one episode shows up. <laughs> yeah, looks her up and down and, well, he, he'll, he'll take a flyer. That's all it takes. And you know what? I was like, oh, he's a plant. No, he's just interested in the sexy good times that might be happening. Mm, mm, he's kind of both. Because he does the look thing, too, later on. When, uh... <laughs> When Beth soberly gatekeeps a sta uh, 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 well, a nebulously consenting well, sexual I experience. Here's the here's. I think he does the look, um, oh, because, because of, he's blue balled now because of the blocking of his cock. Yeah. Because later in the film, um, I'll tell you what, uh, he's not having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's I, just say he's not walking out of there casually. I didn't uh, put together that that was the same guy until you said that. I'm I I paused it and I'm, I looked at him. Okay. I'm like that looks like him. Willing to believe you on that. I, I am. I would like to believe it because I don't think that they necessarily stick to girls. I think that they just kind of whoever stays there. Yeah. And then well, this story in the is, first movie, it was right. three guys. Yeah. I haven't. It doesn't matter. It's just about who wants what. It's either been a while know? since you forced me to watch it in your basement or I've never seen it. <laughs> either way. I can almost guarantee you I've made you watch it because it's one of my favorite movies ever. It's a top 10 easily mm for me. Either way, the beginning of this movie didn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> We got a fucking, well, we got a marathon in the works here. It's, it's going to happen. So at this hostel, I wrote uh, Whitney being a porn star in the hostel mirror. Because any time that a fucking full body mirror shows up in the same shot as Whitney, she's got to pose. She's got to pose and like fucking lick the air. I didn't. 
I drew like a little come hither with her fucking hand to herself and nobody else. Ew. I, uh, I'm kind of glad she dies. (laughs) If that's the kind of behavior that I've been, I I wasn't looking at. No, that's what you get from her. So that's what I mean. You get the three, and he, in a horror movie when there's three females, as well as three, honestly, but, uh, these are like the archetypes of women in horror movies, these three. You get the you get the fucking innocent naive bookworm that doesn't know shit. You get the slutty dunce, and yep. you get the one that's right in between that's got a head on her shoulders, but also ends up getting into sticky situations because she's insistent on following her stupid friend. Yeah, this entire movie is because of Whitney. When they go to the Harvest Festival later on, and we meet, <laughs> I got to talk about those two, Todd and Stuart, as well. Oh boy, but. Uh, uh, Beth says that the trip is entirely because it was it was all Whitney's idea to do this. So she just got, gets everybody killed, basically. Well, I mean, Lorna doesn't... By being stupid. Lorna doesn't fucking help much by... The second she hears... By, co- by being given alcohol, even though she doesn't drink without her knowledge, well, and then disappearing with a man because it's the first time she's ever drank in her life? Well, that, but also, um, the second she hears there's costumes and music at this festival, she's like... Yeah. <laughs> Second time. It started with the hot spring, and then here we are again. Costumes and music. She throws all. She's a fucking theater nerd. Mm, That's what it is. Things. What's this? An Eastern European Renaissance fair with Krampus? Oh, things that are only fun for me. (laughs) Yeah, it. it, They go to like this festival. It. It's a goddamn. What did I? What I? I called it like a Renaissance festival meets an Eastern European creepy ritual. Literally, this Krampus ass Renaissance fair. Yeah, right, it, right in my notes here. I haven't seen Midsummer, but I'm I'm guessing <laughs> some of the, like this is the same fucking festival. That's fucking hilarious. The food is better in Midsummer. I, I would hope so because guess what? We're in Eastern Europe. The only yeah. thing I beats. And, uh, and like a potato boiled meat to the point where it's just gray and yeah. in, a, in a liquid. That's right. And uh, fermented things in cans. Fish. Yeah. Probably fish. Uh, not just, but yeah, very often. Yikes. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, Dry bread with no butter. Parsnips and turnip. Uh, goats. Just around. Ah, uh, just the sadness. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking vodka and tears. Again, to bring up Archer, just you know, I don't want to. I don't want to move here because I don't want to stand in line for the fucking the the gritty soup. And then fucking Katya's like, "It's fine. You catch up with you know your neighbors." <laughs> Boiled rocks, <laughs> gravelos. I <laughs> uh, you know I just it's just fucking part of every, everyday morning breakfast is busting your teeth on a rock. Yeah. No Mm-mm. dentistry. The best part of waking up is after you bust your teeth on a rock. In your cup. It sucks when you do that, but then right after, you know you don't have to do it again until tomorrow. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we've, we've let McLovin take off with our, uh, our passports. Yeah. And, and he went behind the latched gate. Boo! The one that you need to lift the latch up on to get yeah. through oh you know he's yeah it's it's a locked door at that point yeah. what are you gonna do no entry no None. entry that sign says no entry yeah. don't you dare lift that latch up and follow him down those stairs so he's gonna scan their passports with the only computer in the entire fucking country <laughs> and then we're gonna get a montage of 10 or so effete rich white businessman men and one asian bidding on these people's lives yep Bidding for a low fucking number for a human life. $50,000? Yeah, I, what's the starting bet? I don't know if we see the, I, the, I, the final The starting bet is like twenty, And then it goes up to fifty because we got all these fucking white dudes salivating over the idea of killing a college student. And then like, and then just one person was like, I really need the blood. I would like that a lot. And, and there's one like bald guy and I'm like, well, that's Jeff Bezos. <laughs> <laughs> there's no way they weren't like, put Jeff in there. Yeah, man. It's not Jeff, Jeff, but it's Jeff. It might as well be Jeff. Uh, So, yeah, yeah, there's this bidding war begins. Yeah. Everybody gets these notifications and... Now, let's talk about Todd and Stuart. You mean the guy who looks like the dad from Step Brothers and his brother? I, I I just call them bad brother and brother. Well, they're not even related. 
Are they not? They're I've, just friends. I thought they were brothers, by they're the way. Like they were like business partners. I thought they were brothers, and he was like, yeah, your bitch wife. Yeah. It's, well, maybe they are. They could be. I don't. Well, it doesn't, doesn't fucking matter. No, it doesn't. Uh, but, I, yeah, I was like, oh, well, it's, it's a brother looking out for his younger brother. Obviously, I don't know. Both of these men look like they're here to kill their wives. That's true. That's true. And it is. And it's also, like, diegetically true in the movie. This is the motivation that they both have. Um, what You don't know it from Todd, which is the guy who's uh, bidding on the golf course with investors who are also Asian. Don't know why this movie has to be so racist about Asian people. You only see three of them in the whole movie, and they're all in finance. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, I was going to say... Up until you said they're all in finance, it's like, Jay, they're just there. No, they're, they're, they're just people existing in the movie. One is like a CEO, and he's got a fucking samurai suit of armor in his office. Like, come on. Okay. All right. We um, get it. Todd, uh, when he wins this bid, gets so excited that he immediately chips his ball into the woods to the right. I don't know if you saw that. No. Oh, my God. He takes the swing, and it just goes whip right over. <laughs> well, you suck. But oh, I Stuart, love it. And this is when you should get the first indicator if you're paying attention and actually watch this movie, uh, that Stuart is actually the problem. Because he takes this conversation in the same room as his wife and child. Oh. The conversation yeah. about, yeah, we right got- Right at the breakfast table. This auction we just won for these two women that we're both going to kill in tandem and know that we're doing it. We're good. We got them. And he's just, all he does is walk five feet toward the counter. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can definitely, we can make that yeah, happen. Yeah, I can swing that. Yeah, let me scrape the food off this plate that my child didn't finish, because they're <laughs> they're out the door for school. Yeah. They're, and my, yeah, but my we'll, bitch wife. we're going to kill these bitches. <laughs> we, so over the phone, he goes, I got her for you. She's the spitting image. And immediately you should know that he's talking about Stuart's wife. Oh, yeah. This girl looks exactly like your wife. And we're going to, uh, well, enact a fantasy that you apparently have where you murder her. Well, it, it's it's all about the vibe he gives off, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, you ever, see, you ever see news reports where they interview, like, serial killers that they find and shit, and the neighbors always go, well, he was very quiet and kept to himself. Mm -hmm. That's fucking Stuart. That's fucking if you, Stuart. If you have any clue about any of that shit, you know that Stuart is... this. Todd, his bud, might be excited about it, but Stuart is pensive. Like, Stuart is, he's got his bag packed in his head. You know what's funny is I, the whole time I was the other way around, I'm like, Stuart doesn't want to do this. That's the point, because Stuart like- Stuart doesn't want to fucking do this. He, he has second thoughts about it, but it's about headspace, you know? Because later on when he's talking to her and th his wife gets brought up and immediately he's like, oh yeah, I remember why I came. Yeah. I remember right. real well. So Todd and Stuart, on the flip side of like the female character archetype in a horror movie, you get, yeah, a uh, dumb, dumb, overconfident jock dunce idiot head and his very subdued and quiet friend who turns out to be more dangerous. Yeah. Which is fine because it works. It like all of this, all like this stereotypical bullshit as far as character writing works in a movie like this because there's really no stakes. Like, you know, what's going to happen. People are going to be killed in a warehouse. Yeah. Fine. Oh, yeah. It's, it's about the journey. And and here, here's a little here's a little lemon twist. Yeah. It's just a little lemon twist on yeah, the end yeah. of your swizzle stick. A little stick. M. Night Shyamalan for you. Yeah. I liked it. I, I did. I liked it right at- 100%. Up until it got weird. <laughs> <laughs> got weird for a few seconds there. Yeah. Uh, and then I was I was good with it after that, though, because- it's fine. A girl, girl with the dragon tattooed it. That's what they did. <laughs> What they did yeah, there. they did. Yeah, they certainly did. Uh, so we're, we're, we're at the medieval horrific European ritual for Satan fair, and that's, that's uh, right. We learned that the dark-haired girl Beth, mm -hmm. she's rich. Yeah, because of dead mom money. Fucking loaded with inheritance. Dead fucking mom. All kinds of dead mom money. Why aren't you paying for the whole ass trip, Beth? Why aren't you paying for the whole ass trip? Why are you Beth? letting anybody reach into their pockets and wallets, Beth? Why are you not staying at the top of like the that that tall tower in in Dubai? Why are you not what there? What a fantastic question! You're gonna stay at the fifteen dollar hostel when you're a fucking millionaire just cuz? Yeah, and why did you even entertain? I want to get the full European experience. Well, you sure fucking did, you you miser. They don't even they don't hide the fact that she's got so much money that she that what they say is that she's got her dad 
on an on allowance. Yeah. Why was she even entertaining the conversation earlier where her dad's like, well, I'll get you a nice hotel. We'll get you a nice hotel. No. <laughs> I'll get me a nice hotel. Yeah. Dad, I'll give you the money. Then you get me the nice hotel. <laughs> no, I'm going to stay in the... And the dirty sex, the sexy yeah. good time. I'm going to stay in the musky hostel. Yeah, I want to sleep on a bunk bed next to a pervert. And not touch the sauna because it's wet and it's not even on. And you know people jerked off in this fucking room. You know it. They sure did. They... How often do you think in fucking Slovakia they wash the blankets? I walked in and they were doing it. There's no way that they do. Not for $15 a night. Person You're was... sleeping on someone. Person wasn't even staying in the hostel. He just walked in. Just yeah. started jerking it. Fucking apparently it's normal here. Found a room. Yeah. It's mine. Sure wish I'd used my money. Doors don't even lock. Now there's cum everywhere. <laughs> Dad! <laughs> <laughs> that sentence should not be followed with the word dad. So ever. fucking... That's my impression of Europe. That's so, fine. And, then, and I get it specifically from this film and the movie Eurotrip. Oh, God. So this film, Eurotrip, combined, that this is my knowledge of Europe. Yeah. Uh, before we get to the Renaissance Fair, I want to point out that uh, the the mob of children, oh right, were walking through Slovakia, and the mob of children yes. demand a dollar. And uh, Lorna, and you know, like it's obvious that she's super sheltered. She's the one who brings up the allowance conversation, which means she definitely still lives at home with her fucking parents and gets an allowance mm -hmm. as a college student. Oh yeah, uh, but offers them a mint. Yes, they're asking for money because here your breath stinks. <laughs> It smells like shit, little boy. Well, it smells here, like shit. Yeah, here, get a fucking face full of it then. Here's Hawks a, a fat loogie in her fucking oh my right on the bridge of her big nose. <laughs> She's none too pleased. Well, would should. you be? Well, yeah, because now you got to go get tested. Yes. The second that I got my face spat in, uh, trip's canceled. I'm yeah. going home. I'm going back to the hostel. Yeah. Have fun getting taken. Fuck. By, oh, I oh, forgot to mention while they're going to the room in the hostel for some reason there is a door open and you can yeah. see a couple doing some weird shit like well it, it's they're, yeah they're, they're taking pictures they're being coupley it's a but guy and a girl and he's got a very shitty video camera mm -hmm. one of those ones with the screen that flips out this, but it's like a brick yeah it seems like a porno they're making it looks like she's not that enthusiastic about it well, yeah. Let's put it that way. Like, this is normal coupley stuff that they're doing, but when the door is open, that's when it becomes weird. Mm hmm Like, why are... Why, why are, are you... You're, like, encouraging an audience at that point? Yeah. So, we, we meet that couple for a brief moment. Yeah. And then that's that. Well, I, I mean, it barely matters that we met them, because they die. <laughs> it, it barely matters that we met them, and then they die. Yeah. That's exactly correct. Yes. Uh, so, the, 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 here we are. We're at the festival. Um, <clears throat> during the festival, uh, we cut to, uh, Todd and Stuart getting their bloodhound tattoos. Right. And, uh, while well, Stuart doesn't want to get his. No. Because Todd chose to get his on his bicep where it could be prominently displayed by, uh, for anybody who knows what it means to see. And apparently that means that Stuart also has to get it on his bicep and not somewhere hidden because his concern is that you can't really explain it. Here's the thing. Put it on the bottom of your foot. I actually had that thought, too. You don't have to explain shit to anybody but a sock. And that sock's gonna keep its fucking trap shut. Just, it, it better. It, it knows what you did. It knows a <laughs> lot of things that you did, probably. <laughs> but fucking, yeah, just because overzealous-ass dumb Todd who's in over his head gets his shit right on his arm, where he's gotta explain to every fucking business person that he meets, oh yeah, no, I just really like dogs. It doesn't mean that you have to do the same thing. How about this? It's a tattoo. Yep. If you know what it means, you know what it means. To everybody else, it's a dog. That's true. So, what's there to explain? Well, I think his concern is, uh, you know, he goes to Europe with his friend Todd, or brother, and yep. then comes home and his bitch cunt wife goes, what the fuck is that? I got an imagining tattoo with my my blood brother, and that's as easy as it is, guys. Yeah, we're, bl we're and and we we're blood brothers. Yeah, and in, in the way where we both murdered. Yeah. Well. Yeah, okay. Sure. As I say, they <laughs> they just use the same needle or. Oh, that's yeah. But yeah, no, no, we're, they're they're we're blood, blood brothers. I should get tested. We're, we're, we're blood brothers in every sense, inside and out. Oh, like 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 it was that kind of European trip. Hmm. Some fucking happy juice being sloshed around here. Todd? More like top. 
Todd, more like Rod. <laughs> S- Stuart, more like Pooh Hurt. <laughs> no! I wasn't going to say anything that made sense. I fucking hate that I said that out loud. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. I hate that I said that out loud. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> Talking about butt fucking. <laughs> little broke back mountain action, but in Europe. So fucking Stuart sees a tattoo and gets cold feet because the idea of killing a woman didn't give him that fucking reaction. Yeah, no, the no. The tattoo did. Yeah, and he's clearly not a dog person. So uh, Todd goes over and communicates with his eyes that if he doesn't get it, we'll both die. That's kind of the deal. That's how that conversation goes. And you know... They keep going, we have contract. Yeah, you should have yeah. re- read that. Anybody who's... Yeah, the fine print. Oh, oh, a murder contract? Yeah. I'm going to have a lawyer go over this, actually. It's, it's, not the, it's not the iTunes terms of use. All right? You don't just hit accept on this one. Yeah, it's a human life. At least one. It's a human life, and you've paid several thousand for it. Yeah, tens. But that's okay. We'll just we'll just get this tattoo. Whatever. Reluctantly. Yeah. It's a tattoo. So at, back at fucking uh, Moldovan Oktoberfest here, uh, Whitney miraculously runs into fucking Borat after five minutes of sitting at the bar and goes and calls him that to his face. Oh, and yeah. He's just like, I mean, look at you. You can say what you want. <laughs> you can call me dir- dirty European white trash. I don't give a fuck. My dick's still going to go in. <laughs> you're, you're the only person here I'm not related to. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and they start playing like uh, gypsy punk and they just... Yeah. They're going for um, it. They get, they get uh, ciders for everyone that uh, are <laughs> sold to Lorna as being non-alcoholic. And then Beth takes one sip of it and goes, this is, this is fuck juice. <laughs> this is the most alcoholic juice i've ever had Holy fuck sh- what is fucking what's it called spiritus in this <laughs> spiritus straight from russia 70 percent vodka what is this for cleaning <laughs> your insides yeah, we're gonna clean some electronics uh, i would say that uh despite even if i had never had an alcoholic beverage in my life I could guarantee you that if I took a, a drink of that, I would know immediately that there was alcohol in it. Oh, yeah. Because cider is not supposed to taste like paint thinner. You know, I think um, just getting it near your face. Yeah. And just... When your eyebrows get singed off from the fumes alone. <laughs> yeah, when your eyes water, <laughs> you go, well, this is a very spicy apple cider. Even if there's not alcohol in it, I don't want it. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, I didn't see where it came from. I fucking, I coughed like inhaling glue. And, and then she's, uh, so yeah, she sells it to her by saying it's not alcoholic, but, and then she's like, yeah, and then those kids made it. No. Yeah, not at all. No, those dirt, the dirt kids with the dirty hands? No. <laughs> no. I I, stick, sticky fingers picking my fruit? No. I've seen one bathtub in the past two days. <laughs> you know they put their feet in there. <laughs> they're kids. <laughs> They saw the grape lady do it, and they're like, that looks like fun. Yeah. I'd like to wipe out and knock the window to myself. They make fucking, they make alcohol like the fucking, the Cambodian tribes people in that episode of Wild Boys, where they just put a fucking, their own spit in a gourd and bury it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they fucking do. Fucking Steve-O drinks it, and he goes, yeah, dude, that's total booze. And yeah. you and would it, know. In his prime. <laughs> yeah, he would. Uh, <laughs> so gross. Um, also at this harvest festival, for some reason, are Todd and Stuart. Now let's talk about how fucking dumb it is. The idea that I'm going to scope out the victims that I know what they look like because I bit it, I bit on their face. Uh, not only am I going to do that, I'm going to get within talking distance of them. Mm-hmm. Specifically the one that I paid money to kill. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm really gonna... I'm gonna meet them. I, I, I want to make sure they know who I am. My, what uh, my face looks like. Yeah. And then they can really feel done by <laughs> before I just fucking eviscerate them. Holy shit. Um, yeah. Uh, what happened? Oh, so she gets a drink bot. No. Oh, we're, we're a little ahead. So the, the probably the most. Well, that's this is sort of all happening at the same time. Yeah. But so probably the most goofiest looking guy in the entire village. Yeah. Is like, would you like to dance? I. Okay. You've seen Tropic Thunder. Mm-hmm. Simple Jack. How about Pitch- Bugs Bunny? Hey, Bugs Bunny because meets that's Simple what I was, Jack. Yeah, sure. He's he's Bugs Bunny with a Simple Jack haircut. Yeah. Uh, and he's like, hey. You An want- extra from Deliverance, the forest scenes. Yeah. Wrong turn really took a turn. 
<laughs> fucking Deliverance Moldova is just wrong turn. It, 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 yeah, they're the same. Uh, so they, and um, so yeah, she's like, yeah, you do you, you want to dance? You want to dance with me? And she's like, I'm not drunk enough. And I was like, wow, you bitch. <laughs> is it because he looks like a goofball? It, no, it is. And, no, it, it's because she's and not, also he's got like, you know, dirt on his everywhere. She's not drunk enough to dance. Yeah. Was, so she's was, trying was to be nice meant. about it. But and uh, but, well, first of all, I was like, it's because he looks like a fucking foot. I get it. <laughs> and then and then he's like, hey, I was just trying to help you, bitch. And then he fucking leaves. Yeah. All right. And then this is when fucking McLovin comes over. and He's like, what did he just fucking say to you? Yeah. Oh, he won't be bothering you. Yeah. Don't you worry. Most ominous sentence to ever be emitted from an Eastern European person's mouth. Yeah. He won't be bothering you anymore. Well, naturally, I'm going to assume because he's dead tomorrow. Yeah. Now drink this full beer that yeah. I've just been carrying around. Yeah. Why do you have that preemptively before uh, running into me, surprisingly, at this at this festival? Oh, that's for me, specifically, mm -hmm. for some reason? So it, it, it was just, smart of her to dump it out. Oh, yeah. The first fucking smart choice she makes all movie. The, the only character who makes one, there's only one smart choice in this film. It was just made. I wrote right here. <clears throat> this whole movie is founded upon the idea that white women in a foreign country are incapable of trusting gut instinct. There you go. They, put, they get in so many there situations you go. where anybody with a level head would be like, I'm good. What's well, this, a liquor drink? I'm going to have it. <laughs> Party Moldova. Let's go look at some old bombed out churches. I wouldn't even get regular drunk in Moldova, let alone uh, poison drunk from the hotel desk clerk. I'm only going to take a drink in Moldova if there's like a... If I brought it myself from home. Okay. I was going to say if there's like a severed toe in it. It's like a frostbitten <laughs> severed <laughs> yeah. toe. And it's yeah, like... and there's like five people cheering. Like, yeah. that's fine. And then I'm also going to make sure that I see some other people take that shot first. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to be the only toe shot guy. When I was in Newfoundland, they have this whole screeching in ceremony where you kiss a dead fish. Mm. Uh, I don't... It's sort of the opposite in that case because I did I did kiss the fish, but I was hyper aware of the fact that about twenty five mouths had also been on it. <laughs> Fuck, that's a litany of problems, right you there. You know, not only is that fish a whore, <laughs> <laughs> but it's also a dead fish. It is. I kissed that <laughs> slutty dead fish. <laughs> Me and two other friends, we all kissed that fish. Oh. We, we showed that fish a good fucking time. Did you cup the gills? <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't fit two fingers in. They were real tight. <laughs> Stroke the dorsal fin. Oh, my God. They'll take care of that. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, during this dance scene, look, this isn't going to be a polite thing to say, but a magician comes up to Lorna and asks her to dance. That's right. Uh, Russian Adam Rogers. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know. Uh, the living embodiment of the comic book store guy. That's true. He's like... That's true. Dance? You dance now! Yeah. Well, when you look like that, every question is actually a demand. Yeah. And, and she's hesitant. And then she's not hesitant. No. And, and that then, cider really, uh, really fucking blew right through her. And then somehow uh, th that dance turns into, come on this boat with me. Uh, I know that you have no idea where you are right now. Let's make that problem worse by yes. just boating down the river. Watch my ponytail whip around as notice, I look for nachos. Notice how I have two lanterns dangling? That means I'm safe. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We're going to be okay as I take you... To nowhere. Nowhere at all. Just uh, shoreline. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm going to take you far, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, real far. It's far enough. The it's... whole time she's just yelling, I'm sorry. You, no, you're not. Yeah, you got on the boat. Also, oh, what's the best case scenario here? Where's the boat going, like, in the best of worlds? <sighs> to a castle you don't want it. Like, Dracula's there. <laughs> to a fucking castle. Dracula's fucking castle is the best place that boat can go. It is. Given given your location, uh, yeah, a, a, a nice castle. There's nowhere else. It's yeah, and I wouldn't want to get railed out in a castle either. Those rocks would probably scrape me up. Oh, yeah. I'm good. Nah. I mean, like, There's like canvas tent back at the fucking... Fe like, why don't you just drape me in that? We can just do this right here. I'm no. I'm sure there's a half a dozen other people doing it. No, the smells that I produce... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they, they can't... They, this just can't happen near people. I'm sorry. Not great. Um, yeah, so this fucking... And, and when she's like, yeah, this uh, fucking Harry Houdini over here, 
this fucking Las Vegas show magician who didn't Harry make it. Houdini, dude. I I was just trying to think of a, 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 a magician. Okay, but Chris Angel's too ripped. But he's also got a really thick beard. Do you not realize the pun you just made? <laughs> ah, ha ha! No, I did not. But Harry I'm very Houdini. happy. Oh my All right. God. Well, let's stick with that then. You're fucking welcome for pointing that out. Fucking uh, Ricardo the Miraculous here. Uh, <laughs> he's he's just finished up his uh, fucking going around table to table bothering people at Pizza Hut. Yeah, yeah. Trying to show him close up magic. He made a for... quarter float in, in between two of his hands. <laughs> in, in, in between two stuffed crust pizzas. <laughs> Look, if you're a magician, don't go to the restaurant. Oh, my God. I want to see the magic, but I'm not going to tip you. I'm trying to eat. Yeah. I don't need I don't need anybody doing anything that's shocking me while I'm eating. <laughs> At all. Yeah, the last thing I need to do is be startled while I've got... No. Got, got a crust full of cheese so sliding down my yeah. gullet. That's a, that's a fast and easy ticket to the Heimlich maneuver. Yeah, good sir. Put your thumb back on. I'm choking. <laughs> Also, ew, dude. Yeah. Um. So yeah, yeah. So yeah, she gets offended when the she's like, yeah, he wants to take me on a boat ride. She's like, no. Why is it because he's ugly? <laughs> is it because he's an ugly piece of shit with a ponytail? Is that why? No, I'm pretty sure it's just because I'd like to keep you safe in a foreign country with no extradition. Yeah, I, w- I want to make sure that you're not sold. <laughs> I'm a little like, late for, for that. Real. I'm a little late. I'm a little late on this one. But oh my god. I'm doing my best here. I'm a little late. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's, uh, yeah, I think she, yeah, she, so, and then she, like, sneakily tries to, like, chuck that beer in the guy's lap. Well, uh, she tries to throw it away, right? And then it ends up getting on Stuart, because he's standing too fucking close for anybody. Yeah, she threw it right on his penis. <laughs> it's, it's foreshadowing. Yeah. Um. He's getting his dick wet. So they just, they have a conversation that doesn't matter. And uh, the only thing that does is at the end, she's like, well, I'm going to go. And Stuart goes, oh, I'm sure we'll meet again. He also calls her by her name. Yes. And have a good night, Beth. And then did you say my name? Oh, one of your friends mentioned it in passing. Even if that, even if that were true, that's even creepier. Yep. Because that means he was just listening to somebody else's conversation. Oh, yeah. For long enough to catch a name. Real cool. Real cool of you to do. Awesome. Yeah, I... Mm, you know how, like... If you were if you were in Bangkok, right, and you ran into a white American, you would probably naturally assume that they were also there for the lady boys who were 14. So I would not be... That is that is a stoic and silent nod on the sidewalk and nothing else. We're both here for probably the same thing, like from Stuart's perspective, you know what I mean? Mm. Or from Beth's. Like, I don't know. You're very put together for uh, being in Eastern Europe at this exact festival like I, a college student, am. And you're clearly 40. I might not want to share more than a sentence. Yeah. I'm, I'm worried about what, what your itinerary is. Exactly. Let me look at your log book. Yeah. Where have you been in the past week and a half? Uh, let me smell that dick. <laughs> <laughs> well, he probably wants that. Let me smell your dick. Um, so we join Lorna on her on her tropical voyage. Yeah. Her, her to, five to star hell. cruise yeah. where this man is paddling a boat. V- I've never seen anybody get a get a kayak boat moving that quickly. <laughs> he's he's got that canoe. It's doing like thirty knots. Well, he's got places to be. Yeah, he's got he's got an agenda, and his yeah. he hates his hair up in a ponytail. Oh, can't stand it. I hate. I, I, I get it. I'm not a fan of it either. Yeah. It looks. I mean, it doesn't look weird, but like. I mean, I spent it, like three years with my hair in a ponytail, and I hated every second of it. I just don't like looking like I'm going somewhere fancy. You know, I'm not going anywhere fancy. Don't get that idea. <laughs> I don't like. I don't like looking like I should own a Vespa. Yeah, me and the, me and this guy together. <laughs> so he just wants to get his hair down. He's just he's just ready to let well, his hair down. He wants to let loose, done. you know. Yeah. And we're this... gonna we're gonna bang on the dirty rocky shore of this fucking forest that I just paddled us to. Oh yes, you know how the when... best case scenario for you now is to get rug burn on your back from rocks and a and a fucking stonefish. Oh my god, and and like when you go on your European vacation, you're always like, oh man, I'm, I hope I meet like a nice European man and he romances me. Right. You want roses in the teeth. You want like a baguette in the morning, not yeah. penis. 
but you know. Yeah, you, you picture these kinds of activities going down in France, Italy, mm. romantic countries, not dirty rocks on the shoreline of Eastern European Bloc Moldova. <laughs> Under the glow of Chernobyl, he takes me. <laughs> he takes me by the coyote-covered rocks. I took his worm, and then I found a couple more of my intestines when I got back. <laughs> I took his worm. It broke off inside. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so fucking, for all of her trouble of trusting this fucking magician, you should never trust anybody who looks like this man. What I what I ended up writing for my two senses or less was never trust a guy in a black leather jacket. Uh, Every fucking kidnapper in this movie has the same outfit, and it's toucan jacket. And it's it's literally the it's it's like the the, the fit from uh, from Taken. It is. It's it's the Taken fit. Why does every why is every human trafficker supposed to dress this way? You'd think it would be a giveaway at some point. It, it's, you it's, can't it's, walk down the street like that. Oh, he just had like two women in the back of his van. Well, he's probably got he's probably got a balaclava in his left pocket. <laughs> it's probably up his sleeve. It is. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> that's where the magician. That's where the magic comes into play. Oh, he's like, Look what I got. It's just one handkerchief, <laughs> but it's the last one you're gonna remember. <laughs> and it's chloroform and just <laughs> yeah. Meh. Fuck. Uh, so, yeah, bag on the head, fucking bash with a stick. She ends up in the water. I don't know how she didn't drown. Yeah, that's a good point. They must have taken her real quick back to the boat. Fucking must have. Oh, oh, right. Well, when they get up on the island, this movie does this like two or three times where you see you see, you see, see the man grab a chain and like a, a big sharp spike. Yeah. And she's like, what are, what are you doing? And then he just yeah. changed the boat up yeah. very no, casually. Just, you know, it's better than the, you know, like a, a knotted rope. Yep. It is. Oh, it, good. Oh, uh, well, is it? No. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, now we're, we're joining the ladies too drunk. Yes. Too, too. Well, one of them. They can't even. One of them what, is. One of them cannot even. The other one's apparently the designated walker. Yeah. Uh, and we're, we're, we're still pretty concerned that Lauren has not shown up, so we're going to let the model take care of this, and yeah. we're just going to, we're going to take off. I'm a little worried that um, my friend who I came on this trip with from college Disappeared into the night with a fat stranger. So we're just going to go home. Yeah, do you mind Do you mind just standing around this festival that's closing yeah. down? I know and... you met us 24 hours ago, but can you just hang around? Mm, do you mind? I trust you with the life of somebody I know. I did just give you that picture. I didn't charge you for it. So <laughs> You kind of owe me. Come on now. Um, And then, so I think this is where we just cut to the morning, right? Yeah, uh, Todd and Stuart are uh, jogging. Oh. Oh no no! This is where she cock blocks. Uh, oh, that does happen, yeah. Because it, yeah, which she... was smart. Well, the, and well, fucking... not because she would have been killed by him, but just because that's a nice thing to do for your drunk friend who's gonna get banged out otherwise. And now you get to listen to her talk about masturbating and how she's gonna fucking go masturbate. Yeah, wicked awesome. Yeah, this is a hostel. It's funny when top bunker talking, bottom when yeah <laughs> topper bottoms stern but sensual ship captain of the USS Rough Service. <laughs> um, when Beth was talking to Stuart earlier, she goes, "I get to listen to ha them have sex tonight." I guess she changed her mind. Well, she got progressively more drunk. Maybe she's like, "Well, I'm not gonna listen to this." <laughs> I signed up for for uh, consensual sex listening. Right. <laughs> Not nebulously consensual <laughs> sex listening. Yes. It's not the type of ASMR I'm into. Yeah, I, d I don't want to have to ask any questions. I want to know <laughs> for sure. Uh, so, um, yeah. Uh, oh, this is where Beth looks over and sees like those guys just going through all the bags. Yeah, they're, they're shoving all of the belongings in that open door porn chute yeah. into garbage. Maybe close the door. Yeah. Maybe close the door before somebody notices. Yeah. Instead of after. It kind of defeats the purpose. Yeah. Yeah, because you... Be professional. Where did they go? With your fixing a crime scene. Did they just leave all their belongings? They must have skipped on their bill, huh? That's weird. I have a lot of questions about this hostel now. Yeah. Who are these, who are these men? Uh, anyway. Yeah. Uh, Todd and Stuart jogging, and uh, this is like... This is sort of when I realized the, the whole archetype thing I was saying before, because you just got like a head that's meat and nothing else. All of his metaphors have to do with either fucking or killing. Yep. And uh, pheromonal superiority. Like, yeah, you kill somebody, you walk in a room, and you know you've killed somebody, and they know it too. And then they call the cops because you've killed somebody. Uh, yep. 
Yeah, maybe you don't want people to know that. The end. Kind of the point of killing people, right? Yeah, fucking. So, and like it had been a minute since I saw the movie, so I didn't really remember how it shook out afterward, but I had like a vague recollection of the tables turning like that. Mm -hmm. So, in my head though, I was like, this guy's all talk. His whole character is being the most unnecessarily and unwarrantedly confident person in a room. Like, he walks in and he thinks he's the most important person there, and he, little does he know, everybody's like, who's that queer? Yeah, he's, until the, 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 the shit hits the fan. Just the most boisterous, like he's done it 15 times. But you know that it's his first, the second that it actually starts happening. Oh my god. And he's like, yeah, I quit. Yep. Uh, so, they're, they're running, and they're, yeah, he's just like, Man, you just gotta be a macho man and kill somebody, and we're just gonna kill somebody and be macho men, and yeah. we'll just be men together. Right out loud in broad daylight yep. on a jogging trail. Hey, have you ever killed somebody? Macho men. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's real manly. It's like fixing everything with duct tape and building a log cabin by yourself. It's like, did you have your, uh, you get your buzzer? And he's like, nah, you got yours, right? And then, and I was like, oh, well, he really just doesn't want to do this. He mm -hmm. didn't even bring his little beeper. I think because you, you get little Kelsey's beepers. We've yeah, yeah. mentioned you get a Kelsey's yeah. beeper. When you get a little restaurant reservation vibrating square. Yeah, when when your table's ready, <laughs> you get to go. <laughs> you get to go. You do. And then they go. You to know, I feel like I'm talking you into it. He's in the country. He's got the buzzer. He All right, he, just let it. Just let. He got the tattoo. Let yeah. He let signed him the figure contract. It, you might he might be a little bit trepidatious, but it's a tattoo and a murder all in one day. That's a heavy plate. Yup. Chill. I got a hard time, like, going to the store. Well, yeah, I've, sometimes you, you really need to be talked into murder. Yeah. And the store. Pretty spicy jog talk. It is. Uh, even spicier talks going down at the at the, the hot spring. The hot spring where, uh, I guess, part of being in a hot spring is covering your face in thick cream. And then talking about how your friend's in a cum coma. In a cum coma. A coma, if you will. I wish they would have. So do I. Uh, so yeah, no Lorna. We're not concerned though. No, we're we're just gonna bathe in the hot spring like she's just around the corner. Look, they they know exactly what happened. You're yeah. They just don't give a shit. That that, that magician made her disappear. <laughs> That's what happened. He sawed her in half. Oh. There was no audience, and <laughs> and it was not the the horizontal way you want to be sawed. <laughs> he split her down the middle. Ooh. Um. So. Yeah, that uh, they that she's gone right away. Uh, cut to her getting bathoried. Oh my god! I thought this is was... it, is is Lorna getting bathoried or is the woman getting bathoried? Well, you know, it, it, it's in, a little of both. The verb goes both ways. It I does. Think. Yeah. I, I, they're both. It's a, it's a, the whole thing is a bathory. Um, I th I thought this character was gonna have more to do with the movie, which is why I suggested this as the film. You thought Lorna was or the 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 Elizabeth Bathory okay. character? I I figured. I was happy with the amount. Oh, see, I googled it and it was like this. Well, the fucking her hanging upside down is the fucking poster for the film. Is it? Yeah. Oh my god. So it, you would think, yeah, that there would be more to do with that woman. It, it takes like three seconds. Yeah. Well, uh, it takes a bit longer than that. She really fucking. Uh, she really takes her sweet time. She sure does. She doesn't even get. She a, gives herself the amuse bouche before going in for the entree. She doesn't even get a line in the film. She just gets naked. Yeah, she gets naked and just starts cutting and like you, a, like an Amish guy who's late for harvest. This was the one time I did notice you almost see feet. Like it does the shot where she yeah. like walks up and it's feet. Yeah, but if it was a real Tarantino movie, like it would have been a shot from the feet up as she's laying down in the bathtub. That's true. You know. Yeah, you would have had the feet sticking you out. You probably would have gotten Lorna's upside down hanging ass feet too. You, oh, you would have got you would have got the feet sticking up out of the tub. Yeah, uh, and like eighties movie style. Yeah, I like. And instead of like soap and bubbles, it's just blood it's spraying down and just arms behind yeah. the head yeah yeah but yeah she's so she's hanging up lorna's lorna's well look if you haven't been paying attention lorna's lorna's fucked <laughs> they've got her on like a. if she was just fucked this movie would be much different she <laughs> it would be i probably wouldn't have enjoyed <laughs> that very much to see that man do that to her uh, because it would have to be sideways and he would take up the entire frame pretty much uh so trying to fit fucking julia roberts <laughs> forehead into a shot They've got her. They've got her on cattle hooks, um, hanging upside down, okay. like like in a slaughterhouse. Yeah, yeah, house. yeah. And I it, didn't know they were called that, but it makes sense. Well, yeah, whatever they're called, it's like the it's, same things that Leatherface puts bodies on yeah, in the basement, and you can wheel it around on a track. Right. And that's the like the whole thing. They wheel her out because this must be a either this she's like a return customer who's got her her own penthouse. Yeah. 
where there's like this tub that I got the same impression. Right? To, oh, fucking uh, Svetlana's coming down. Can you just uh, prep the candles? Mm, yes, absolutely. Let me grab the ominous torch while that lady dangles there, making her think she's going to get burnt. Yeah. But then I'm just going to light all these nice candles instead. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but that guy, um, uh, Chub Chub, is the same guy that took her on the boat trip. Mm -hmm. And also, he it takes him like five, six tries to light one of the candles, and they just leave that shot in the film. Good. He's over there dangling with the fucking map gas tank, and he just he keeps sticking it over the wick, and it just won't light. But fucking, like, okay, can we do a reshoot? Like, can we do take two on that? Nah, we'll just, he's a clumsy oaf. He looks like it, though. <laughs> he looks like he would be the clumsy one. Yeah, he's got the job, but he's only worked his way up from the bottom. It's between him and the dude who's fucking, the side of his lip is pouting outward constantly. Oh, yeah, not a great, God. No. Where are all the good Europeans? I find, there's like two, and they're here. <laughs> oh, boy. Um... Uh, yeah, so here we are. So this fucking nude lady comes in, yeah. and, and she's got a scythe. That's true. Then she's just going to poke. Yeah. Well, like I said, that's the appetizer. Yep. And then the full course, like that's that's the throat later. The sound of, of the... Oh, yeah, dude. The sound oh. design in this fucking scene. She's scraping the tip of this fucking scythe down this poor girl's back, and it just sounds like somebody's like ripping leather yeah holy fuck good god nails on a handbag that's exactly yeah ripping leather is a great way to put holy it holy shit i was uh, very happy with that i i i winced i turned away i was like oh <laughs> so i could I. I could like feel it yeah man oh my god it's so good and so she like yeah slashes up her back a bunch and she's like oh well that's probably the worst that's gonna happen i wrote um if you touch me with that scythe you might as well kill me because i don't remember the date of my last tetanus shot yeah. That dirty, filthy, rusty scythe. And you know they're not washing that. No. Why would they wash it? It's just going to get dirty again. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, you not only tetanus, but probably hep. Yeah, well, it's not like they're going to get tested after. The whole hepatitis alphabet right there. <laughs> A through Z. <laughs> We're developing new hepatitis. I got hepatitis alpha to omega. Mm, I've, I just got the beta. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the worst one, too. It probably is. I don't know. Um. So, yeah, uh, just bath time. No bubbles, though. No no, no rubber duck. No. Ernie well, we would, don't need it. Ernie would be pissed. He would. We're raw dogging this. Where's the <laughs> raw dog the tub. No duck. <laughs> <laughs> no Epsom salts. Fuck it. You get those natural body salts in there instead. Yeah, uh, that fucking copper taste. Yeah, why, why, do you, why do you smell like a penny? <laughs> Well, I've been rubbing myself in blood all afternoon. Oh, good. Oh, yes. Not mine. Oh, you went down to the hostel and got the blood treatment. I did. Mm. It really, it fucking, it, it, it youthens the skin. You look younger and you yeah. smell like a penny. <laughs> you know what? That whole fucking building probably smells like a penny. It, oh, fuck yeah, it does. It, just, it smells uh. like a homeless person's change, period. Oof. So, she, uh, she, I like that she had like a smaller throat slitting scythe. The yeah, well, you know, you want to get up close and personal for the final blow. It's the business scythe. Yeah. Um, and 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 so we're, now we're back at the spa because this lady's done. And this is fucking, yeah, weird. I'm so worried about Lorna that I'm going to take a nap at the hot spring. Uh, pretty sure you're m probably just fucking ass naked because, again, it's Europe. Yep. And uh, I wouldn't be going to sleep anywhere public. Also, is the... Is the entire country in on the fucking, uh, we pay thousands of dollars for murders? Because she takes a fucking 30 second nap and the entire place is empty. Yup. It was fucking packed before. These guys in the black jackets and toques show up and everybody's like, oh fuck. Well, I guess we're done. <laughs> um, so. I guess we're hanging it up for the day. From what I infer from what we're about to discuss here. Yeah. The, the whole town is in on it, but it isn't by choice. And yeah, they if, have no. It's just that one bald guy that looks like the dude from John Wick who has the fucking Baba Yaga story. Yeah, and two dogs. And if, if you're not in on it, you're gonna get your ass beat. Yeah. And then you're, I guess yeah, fair you're gonna enough. ask politely to leave the town. Fair enough. Um, I think that's what's going on. Um, because like, obviously they've just got all this money and they're it's like the mafia kind yeah, of deal. Sure, a secret society. I, I guess I understand that. As, as per Burt Kreischer's story about going to Russia, and then also my knowledge of the yakuza. Mm. Uh, yeah, that hand is a far-reaching one. Yeah, so I, fine. We can assume that this is the Eastern European yakuza. Yeah. Uh, the 
I, I got nothing for because I don't know any fucking Croatian words. So mm-hmm. what do I? Yeah. And so yeah, so we're at the spa. You you, you got you got Whitney and, and Borat are fucking in the steam room. <laughs> that's just that's what they show. And then uh, this the, this fucking model is just gonna kiss her on the neck. Honestly, this isn't the first time that she's been a little handsy. Yeah, I, I get the sense that there's well, there's some interest. And it may be mutual. Yeah. Well, How come we didn't get to see fucking lesbians banging? I waste yeah. of my time. I, 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 I That's wrote, my impression of a scumbag male. <laughs> I wrote funny businesses going down at the spa. Oh yes. And so yeah. Oh, everybody's gone now, huh? And now she's just taking note that the place is empty. That's yeah. Uh, while she good. was napping, she didn't hear fifty people leave. Yeah. Uh, slapping their wet feet on the black tile. The whole thing didn't sound like an episode of Pengu. <laughs> Exactly. Pangu runs exactly a, a, a 5K. Oh my god. <laughs> a lesser known episode. <laughs> Not sure what the moral is there. Drink more water. Oh my god. Exercise is key and also. Newt. Newt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh shit. So fucking right away she gets out of the hot springs. Everybody's gone. And she gets. Well. She gets uh, a clue real fast. After, yeah. After like, I don't know, 10 seconds of. Heavy footsteps coming yeah. at her. She finally turns around. I, those sound like jack boots. I don't think they're allowed here. Yeah, I think you had to take your 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 sock feet only. This is fucking. This is kind of a dumb scene because it's first of all largely inconsequential. But um, her way of escaping uh, capture is to climb up the fountain down which water uh, is coming into the hot spring, mm. and nobody follows her fast enough to for her to get caught by them. She just climbs over the wall and disappears. You got guys in boots and shit. Yeah. They're obviously athletic, but she manages to get all the way out to the road and have a full on conversation with the same ugly buck toothed fuck from the Harvest Festival, coincidentally, happens to be driving by right at that second. Mm hmm. Why and how? Why and how? And no, so nobody climbed over the wall to chase after her. They just like let her do that. Nobody grabbed her foot while she. Exactly, was, I was expecting that like, 100%. It's a hundred percent. It's a water feature she's climbing up. Yeah, it's, it's like poke her in the ankle. She's gonna slip. Yep. Uh, but no, so she meets up with. Uh, yeah, we'll let her almost escape. We'll, we'll we'll let her talk to Doofy, <laughs> and realize that he's had the shit beat out of him, and he's got yeah. everything he owns in the back of his vehicle, and he's leaving. I didn't realize that that w- those were his belongings. I thought he was just going to work like usual. I I assume I assume he's been politely asked he, to. Vacate. I don't know about politely. <laughs> politely asked with a fist and a pipe. He's been knuckled into leaving. <laughs> uh, it's been it's been very suggested. Yeah, a, that he go elsewhere. A smart person would have just hopped in the back of the truck and been like, "Goodbye, friends." Yep. Goodbye forever. Yep. I'm just going to go ahead and assume you're done. Yep. Because the place is empty and you're nowhere. Uh, so she runs into the woods and then again, coincidentally, happens upon these kids. And they just happen to have put a tripwire in in between the exact two trees that she's running through. Brilliant. So that she can fall over. Oh, yeah. And then get beat with sticks. Hey. Sometimes you got to get beat with sticks. None of this makes any goddamn sense. This is the only part of the movie that I was pissed about, really, because it doesn't make any fucking goddamn sense. Yeah. uh, You're going to let, like, 10 year olds just hit you with sticks? Yeah, while you lay on the floor. Stand up. (laughs) Stand right up and tower over them. You're you're 20 times their strength. (laughs) Push them. Push the children. Throw one punch. You you fell. You got the wind knocked out of you. Sure. They're sticks. Yeah. They're not. It's Metal not like they're poles. swinging them with any fucking power it's either. Not, it's not rebar. They're not crowbars. It's sticks. Thankfully, though, fucking Gunther to the rescue here. Uh, I don't know his goddamn name, so I just... I call Gunther him, and the model. Gunther two dogs. Yeah, Gunther two <laughs> Good. Old Gunther two dogs shows up in the nick of time with a... Yeah. Thanks for capturing uh, my victim. I'm going to reward you by shooting one of you at random, like flipping a coin. I, yeah, I, I'd like that. I like that he, you know, he saves her, they get her in the car, and then he takes his, just, you know. His sweet, ever-loving time he, deciding which boy to kill. He's, he's a really important man, so yeah. you know when he takes this much time out of his out of his day to just point a gun into a child's face. You know he means business? Yeah. I think this uh, was punishment for damaging the goods. Probably. Uh, these fucking vicious wolves of children though are like what this one 
Take him. Oh my god, yeah. They push him straight up. They he, might as well have just taken the gun and shot him themselves. He puts up one finger and they know. Like, oh, we gotta choose this again. This guy. Yeah. The, the first one. We've thought pushed. about it. Um I I thought so, like, while he's um while he's scraping the barrel of a gun across kids' faces, mm-hmm. I was paying attention to where the eye contact was. So, like, all of these kids look him either dead in the eye or dead down the barrel of the gun, except for the one on the very end, he just looks down. So I thought he was the one who was going to be killed because he was showing shame. Yep. But, nah. They just Lord of the Flies out some, like, the shortest one of the group. Pretty much, yeah. And it's like, alright, cool, that one, I guess. In, in that situation, I'm never going to be the last one to shove somebody. <laughs> I'm going to let you know. I'm going to be the first one. Yeah. I, I, see a, I see an Eastern European man with a gun and holding up one finger. I'm shoving. He the... doesn't even have to notice me. I'm shoving someone. Yeah, first person to my left. <laughs> I This one. Yep. It's either shove or be shoved in this fucking world. It sure is. Uh, So... Yeah, uh, that child dies. <laughs> that child dies immediately. So that child dies. <laughs> yep. Uh, that's that's what happens there. I don't know. Yeah, and then they just fuck off back into the woods where they're from. Yep. <laughs> I like. Is no nobody's gonna like be like? Okay, so we're gonna have to tell his parents this. Where are anyone's parents? <laughs> Fuck. Uh, cut to Whitney in a fucking. Well, uh, getting um, hair and makeup for her big scene. Mm. Yes. Where, uh, fucking this guy with no front tooth. Is it a guy? Yeah. Are we uh, sure? It's a great question, actually. It ki- it's kind of like uh, Littlefinger in you, Game of Thrones. You raise a fantastic point. And also, they're doing hair and makeup, so, you know, it could go either way. Hold on, wait. No, no. Littlefinger's the dude. I'm, I don't know. I'm, I... I'm talking about the eunuch who's like, I got little birds all over and no penis or balls. See, I... <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. I mean, I watched, um, I stopped watching Game of Thrones after the 10th minute of watching Amelia Clark get raped by Aquaman, so I don't know anything. Oh, no, you you probably saw him in there. He's, he's, he's probably in there probably after, like, the third or fourth time that happens. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, they slip him in. He's a little bald man. And <clears> I was like... probably just reeling from the rape. Eh. The rape that turns into coerced rape that turns into Stockholm Syndrome. You fucking idiot. You fat fuck, George. Four Damn. No- four novels. I, I'm not, we don't call even, let's not even call Rape them Rape and incest. Welcome to season one. They're books. It, thanks. They're not even novels. No. A, a, a novel's good. Hey, but, uh, you know, there it is on, on HBO for you. Damn. So, uh, <laughs> I, yeah, we, we, we cut to, like, this room, and it's just a yeah. room full of people. It is. And then you, they just... Pull out. They just uh, grab one. Yeah, it happens it, to be Whitney. And it's like, oh yeah, so um, we see you got a bruise there. I don't know why they're cleaning her up. It's not like it matters. Put put makeup on it, sure. Yeah. Um, you there's literally an idiom for this, and it's uh putting lipstick on a pig. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so they're uh, yeah they. For some reason, starts cleaning her up and like, oh, and, and like, I don't know why he says it or they, oh, sorry, I don't know why they say it the way yeah, they say it. I don't misgender them. But they're like, hey, we're going to do your nails too, eh? That's going to be pretty good for you. Yeah. I know, I know you're hysterical, but let's get these nails done. Yeah. Huh, I want sweetie? You to fucking, to fucking, we got to, who the fuck, you think, do you think Todd, when he, when he bid on this woman, Whitney here, was you think part of the contract, like he had written in, like, I want her nails to look pretty. Mm. I want them cherry red. Honestly, I feel like if you're paying that much money, you should get that option. Like it's a nice touch. Like, like, like it's like you're buying. A, it's like a valet service like at a, a nicer hotel. Like you're buying a brand new car right from the dealership. Yeah. Or you, oh, fucking, did you check the alignment? Mm. I, I, I want the heated seats. <laughs> I want to not know I farted. That's the whole deal. <laughs> the whole point of that i don't know why also he's treating her like a fucking five-year-old with the jingle keys yeah oh like, yeah she's like first of all she's screaming and this, uh, will, this will stop you from being upset yeah. i'm gonna jingle keys in your face yeah yeah like a yeah. toddler i'm trying to corral at a restaurant this is a pretty terrible situation but i don't know nah, nah, nah. fuck jingle 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 uh so thanks for that i'll bite your nose off as a courtesy yeah you want to do my nails yeah how about should we how about we fucking do this first? how about you never smell me again yeah how, how about 
you you need to go to the hospital now. <laughs> They don't even, it's like, because later, like, afterward, when she tries to escape and they just fucking gate the doors shut, because, of course, there are automatic gated doors for the victims. Yeah. Because, they, look where you are. It's a jail. It's it's basically a jail. Uh, In the background, there's all these CCTV cameras for each room, and you can see him just holding his nose in the same chair. Like, mm. he's not, well, his non-nose. He yeah. hasn't gone anywhere. Uh, there'd be some urgency if I got my nose bitten off. Oh, I'd want to talk to somebody about yeah, it. Yeah, I'd be poking my head out the door being like, does she still hey. have it? Don't let her swallow that. <laughs> Do we have a cooler? <laughs> so for all of his or their trouble of trying to yeah. really make Beth look nice or Whitney, I don't remember who. Yeah, it's Whitney. So for all the, 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 the effort of making Whitney look nice, right? she makes this person look like Michael Jackson. That's right. That's that's the effort. That's, and that's, uh, that, that's the reward for the effort. To be honest... It wasn't the smartest decision on her part, just because at that point, you might as well kill me. Yeah. Because I got that filthy man's blood in my mouth. Oh, yeah. So even if I survive this, it's only going to be for maybe four or five months unless I get pills. Mm. Oh, right. So alongside uh, jingling the keys yeah. uh, to make her feel better, they're like, oh, we're going to make you look pretty. Thanks. Oh, pretty pretty for who? The client. Hmm. There's no conceivable future where this is going to be good. No. There's many paths. Varying degrees of bad. This client. We're, we're in the bad spectrum the second that I need to be made pretty for a client mm. in a chair that I'm tied to. I, I didn't realize I was booked up, honestly. <laughs> I didn't know I was taking appointments today. Yeah. <laughs> well. Fuck. Anyway, so yeah, she runs out and it's a jail. There's dogs. That's right. She Blood doesn't hounds. make it very far. No, like 10, 10 paces at, at dawn. Mm. And uh, all the time, Beth is also getting done up. That's right. But in a much nicer location. Um, I don't know why. And I think maybe it's just familiarity because you're a spoiled bitch. But I'm in a rich guy's house. And it's obviously a very expensive house to live in. So I'm trusting enough to take tea and a secluded bedroom from them. Yeah. I'm uh, and you know what? When I ask what he does, and you say auctions, mm, that's I'm gonna that's, not think about it too that's hard. That's just vague enough that I should be upset. Yeah. Oh, let me let me clue into that real quick with my brain. Nah. Mm -mm, now nah, we'll mm -mm. just go upstairs and get our hair did. Yeah. We'll let, get our hair nice and did. And then for the cops that I need to make a missing persons report about. Right. I'm also really not gonna bring up the fact that I'm missing two friends with any urgency. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna mention it in passing. It's you're up. They're back at the hostel. While you're giving me a shoulder massage. They're oh, they're fine. They're back hey, at the that's weird. Why didn't they come and get me? Stop touching why, me. Why why didn't they get me uh wake me from my uh spring slumber to take me back with them? Hey, might I ask uh one or two questions about the the, the, just the uh, the pictures you've got around of you and your pals. Yep. No, you're going to hustle me away from those? Okay, that's not weird. Why is there a giant portrait of you in the stairs? Why is there a giant What's portrait of you? What's your relationship with this old man? And she goes, oh, don't worry. I'm not fucking him. <laughs> okay, but that's not really an answer. I'm just sucking answer. his dick. You <laughs> don't worry. There's no penny. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, Inquire further, because yeah. that's not answer enough. Why are you here and why am I here? The, the, the picture of her and her friend is of her and the guy from the goddamn train. The guy from the train, yeah. Who, the who she ass, they never fought saw. off and robbed. Yeah, they didn't see him, though. They did. He, he blew right by him and, like, turned oh, around, and yeah. they, like... All and right. he, like, stopped out front of their door, and they That's just fair. they just kept walking. They didn't That's go, fair. hey... We should keep... probably let Lorna know yeah, he's let's, lurking outside. Let's linger to see where... To make sure he's not gonna go in our room and touch our friend's <clears> vagina. <throat> like he looks like he likes to do. <laughs> Um, fucking also glossing over the fact that this movie is obviously pre Epstein because there's no movie. You can't make a movie anymore where you're that comfortable being pampered in a rich man's house, mm. like a rich old man's house who barely knows you. Yeah. I'm and you're in college. I'm very wary of rich old men now. A hundred percent. Especially when they're white. Oof. And, and you got, and you got this hot model just hanging around whose job it is to give me shoulder massages with your long nails. I'm going to throw this out here. You get enough rich white people together in a room, bad shit happens. <laughs> We've all seen society. You shouldn't have seen it. We we saw it. You oh, shouldn't have seen fucking. it. fucking. You know, sometimes we'll give recommendations. Like, you should w actually watch this. And sometimes we'll give even more useful recommendations, which is avoid this like the plague. Look, if you want to watch it, the only situation you watch society in is when you're at a party and you go, look at this. <laughs> 
See Have that? you seen this shit? Exactly. See that fucking shit? Holy Christ, eh? Yeah, remember Give me this another forever. drink, please. Tell your friends years from now what I've shown you. Oh my god. You were at a party and I put this on. Remember me forever. Um, so while that's happening, I'm not sure if this is the part where uh, she realizes that there's a mistake. I think, or not a mistake, but that she's in danger. I think uh, that happens. Yeah, that, and it does happen before. Yeah, like, oh, you're tired. The police will be here in a second. Just take a nap in this stranger man's bed. Yeah. Just take a nap in this bed. Oh, for sure. I promise everything's fine. Absolutely. Again, just a reminder, we've only known each other for 48 hours. Mm -hmm. Also, Reasonable. I don't remember giving you an address. Hmm. Well, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> so great. I mean, she's smart enough to pretend to go to sleep just long enough for her to close the door. But then she's also a fucking retard because she's right out on the landing when she opens the door. The fucking bodyguards are coming in through it and she makes eye contact with the woman. Yeah. And, and, and she's like shrugs herself like, eh. <laughs> this is what happens. Yeah. You Welcome should've... to Slovakia. Oh, here I. Okay. Here's this is what I wrote uh, about the picture of her and the old man from the train. Yeah. It's weird for them to be friends. They look like they would run in different circles. One's a nude model, and the other one looks like his name is Dracoir Noir. <laughs> That's <laughs> what does. I wrote. That's where I wrote it. We're like fucking Dracar Tent City. Yeah. Homeless is my joke there. Uh, so she runs back upstairs after this lady's just like, yeah, well, you're about to get fucking murdered. Yeah, whoops. And uh, so when she runs inside this room, you see her close the door. Through the crack of the door, you see somebody running up the stairs at her. Yeah. But she gets a good 10 seconds to fumble with a chair under she, the yeah. door handle She's before anybody tries it. Just enough time to haphazardly wedge that chair in there totally ineffectively. Just enough? I think she had all of the time she needed. <laughs> had it taken longer, the guy would have been like, ah, hold on. Like, what are the odds that you... First of all, she's trapped herself now because she's on, like, the third floor of a mansion. Yep. But uh, what are the odds that you back into a fucking walk-in closet and, like, an episode of Scooby-Doo, the fucking false wall just opens up and there's heads. There's just heads. Severed like a collector. Heads. Severed frozen heads. On poles. And they've yep. been sewn at the neck just to make sure they stay clean. Absolutely. Let me tell you, you haven't hidden your severed head collection well enough if any old body can just open that door. Like, by breathing on it. Yeah. Not even, like, pushing it open, like, just bumping into yeah, it. touching it. And it, it Human swung, skin contact. Swung open like saloon doors. <laughs> Fucking heads. But, I mean, at least lock it, you know? Yeah. Put a code in or something. I didn't get a good look at the guy from the beginning of the movie, but I bet one of those heads is his. Uh, the main one in the dead center. Is, All right. Yes. For sure. Uh, there's also... Um, Fuck, I want to say there was at least one other from the original movie, uh, like one of, like Josh's or something like that. I'm guessing when you get away, that's what happens. Because, like, if they kept every fucking head, man, that would be uh, so yeah. many. It would be like a fucking hoarder's nest. There'd be aisles of heads. You just, yeah, at some point you just start keeping them in layers. You're like, well, these are the heads from three years ago. They're still good. Don't take those away from me, please. It's, like, it's a much larger wine rack. It's just laid down. Yeah. It's more of a wine pile. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, there's that, that kind of, I was like, I was like, all right, all right. Oh yeah. I wrote an interesting uh, thing I wanted to bring up much later on. Um, the bidding on these women is done over, uh, data and laptop Wi-Fi. Oops. How are you not being tracked? Yep. Every, every move that you make, there's not a VPN, Nord VPN isn't going to stop the FBI from seeing you bid on a person. Oh God. No. They're probably going to tell the FBI about yeah, it. I was going to say, your, your cell phone provider is probably going to leak some information. Yeah. They're probably so, going to whisper some... Before, it was, like, obviously burner phones, which is understandable. And you're talking, like, over voice. Yeah. Uh, so, like, the addition of the newer technology in this sequel kind of sucked. Just because it adds that question. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like, um, you know, just sitting there on your laptop what with a picture of a lady and the words current bid underneath her <laughs> underneath right? her picture that's what i'm saying like you don't want your wife to walk in y'all should be on a list like what what, what website are you on that displays that <laughs> it's, they're not even hiding it it's you're on you, you tell me you're on secret people bid.com to be yeah it's, <laughs> that's that's the caliber of website you're on isn't secret it secret victim bid.com everything about this is cheeky they called it the elite hunting club it's like, so you know it's not regular hunting. Oh, my what God. What kind of hunting uh, might that be, then? Oh, well, you know, when rich white people get together mm -hmm. in a room, 
and there's a, there's some people that they could probably bid on and kill. It's that kind of hunting. Oh, by the way, not even hunting, Jay. No, there's no hunting there's, involved. We we watched the hunt. We <laughs> we've seen the movie. These people don't hunt. No, they've <laughs> they well. Oh my God, they're taking advantage of the spoils of war. They do hunt in the same way that rich people do. Where they go to uh, like a reserve right. and, they're and like, the, the quail's wings are already clipped. Yeah, so they're pretty much just laying there and yeah. they just walk up and shoot it in the head. The lion's been hobbled already. Yes. Yeah, I well, get it. Okay. That's what's so elite. Sure. If they were regular people, they would have had to like just shoot them in public and just like, buff, got him. <laughs> <laughs> and the heads are trophies. I get it. I get it. It's all coming together because... I'm guessing those are all the people who well, oh, yeah, shit, that's like escaped. A, it's, yeah, it's the same equivalent. It's the equivalent to a 10-point buck, you know? Yeah. That's the one that you hang over top of the fireplace. Fucking. Uh, so she gets chloroformed after seeing the heads. Hey. Because that's what fucking happens. Well, yeah. I you, would want to go to sleep after that, to be honest. You don't just get to look at heads and, <laughs> and like, go about your fucking day. No. That's the that that's a substantial life change. Yeah, and, seeing a dozen heads. And, unless you've just paid money to go into like Gunther's body yeah, bodies yeah. exhibit, and you're looking at a head that's sliced paper thin. <laughs> if you open a room and there's severed heads on a stick, somebody is gonna be pissed. You know their secret. Yeah, that's that's the that's the kind of closet. It's not. <laughs> it's there's the only ca- really only one way to make sure you don't tell other people the secret. Oh my god, yeah. It's you. You come out of his closet, and now your head. Your head's going back in. Uh, fucking. So Todd and Stuart are showing up to the hostel. Todd is in. Uh, well, he's like in a fucking a nice, nice pinstripe suit. Oh yeah. He's... And we got Stuart, who's got his hands in his pockets and dressed like he is the dad that he is, about to pick his child up from school. They they really remind me of the two guys from Cabin in the Woods. The, the two guys who are just like, they keep cutting to them and they're just like too goofy. One's oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. One's the dad from Step Brothers. Yeah. Yeah, that, they remind me of these guys. Sure. Uh, yeah, they roll up in a, in a nice vehicle, like they're on a rap music video. I'm weirded out by the fact that they still do this in a, like a fucking super bombed out building when these two guys like came from a, like a dirty, filthy strip club. Mm. They came from like a strip club back room where even the strippers are Eastern European hot, which is to say not at all. Look, here's the thing. They, they came look like they've had a couple kids. They came from a strip club where they suck your dick. That's yeah. Inevitably, that's what's going to happen to that, you there. That is what happens. Yes, because he gets the page and yeah. she's sucking his dick, and he goes, "What? Well, a, I don't go. even want to finish. I'm <laughs> more concerned with the page. Let go of that. My beeper is going off. Get that out of your mouth. <sighs> Fuck. It's business. Uh, so, yeah, they 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 show up. They show up to this 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 compound, and yeah. it, it looks like a dump. To it, be honest, it does. Well, it's I, the same one from the first movie. I, I'm sure it is. You would have had to have seen it. There to are a know couple. That. There are a couple shots, you fucker, that uh, are the same location as the first movie. The first time you run into the mob of kids is also a road from the first movie. <laughs> Businessman gets blown while waiting for his murder. A lot like Kelsey's. <laughs> I, guess, I guess that was when his beeper went. I'd off. probably go there more often if I was getting <laughs> that kind of service. The, the kind of shit that goes down at Kelsey's. Hey, you want your dick sucked yeah. while you wait? I mean, my customer service. Do you want me to suck your dick? Maybe I zuck your dick while you wait. Maybe, maybe I zuck your dick. Maybe I zuck your dick. That is an old meme. It's an awful meme. It is. It's a, it's a person with... Oh, it's a pygmy. Pig. Just call him what he is. He's got pygeria. Yeah. He's got so, pygeria is so what he's pig got. Me. Yeah. And, uh, well, let me tell you, he's smiling like he's making you uh, an offer you can't refuse. Yeah. Or shouldn't. <laughs> but the text below. <laughs> <laughs> and above. <laughs> All right, uh, for fuck's sakes. Yeah, uh, Stewart goes into the room where we got Beth waiting. Yep. And, uh, w- well... I think they look at a bunch of weapons. Yeah, well, and, it's, yeah. And, uh, the, so the bad brother puts on a spiked helmet, and it looks like a dragon's head. And yeah. Like, ooh, that's pretty scary. And then the He's other like brother... dancing in the background of the mirror, and this guy's just fucking staring. The, the, the other brother puts on, um, he puts on earmuffs and does a yeah. thing where he pretends that he's directing a plane. <laughs> That like he's swinging a big axe, like he's, he's swinging a halberd. He's just like yeah, directed air traffic. I don't know why it made me laugh. So it's uh, that's there. That's fine. It, it's it's in the movie. I think he was probably testing their soundproof nature. You know. <laughs> yes, by waving his hands. Or yeah, I, I get you. I I I get how. It well, works. I can't hear the airflow. I can't hear a young girl scream either. So we're in the room with Beth. Yeah. 
Uh, first thing Stuart does, takes a fucking gag out of her mouth and goes, try to talk quietly because they're always listening. And if they can tell that we're having a conversation like we are, then they'll kill us both. Mm. So Beth goes, Stuart! <laughs> The first thing she does is say his name in the loudest fucking voice. You can fucking hear that shit three fucking Chernobyl blocks away. <laughs> Holy shit. Why am I here? Like, what did I just say, bitch? Now I'm going to cut your throat. Yeah. Like, oh, my God. Holy fuck. The, the conversation begins like, he's like, oh, he's going to save her. This is good. He's having a second thought here. He's he's like, oh, shh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, mm. okay. Loudest dialogue in the movie. Loudest. Absolutely. Oh. Meanwhile, next room over, we got Whitney and Bad Brother. Yeah. And he's doing the fucking Reservoir Dogs. Uh, I can't remember his goddamn name. Michael Madsen, I think. Yeah. Where uh, he's just dancing with a fucking scalpel. Yeah. Tonight. Right before he cuts an ear off. Do, do you know Except it's a skill saw. And for some reason, it's corded. Yeah. Oh I, my d- I do. I got to be honest. I fucking like this scene a lot because Ooh. he's just such a dick. He's yeah. dicking around with the fucking skill sign. It pops out. He just fucking laughs in this poor girl's face. Yeah. Oh, my God. And so he, he plugs it in again. And round two. Yeah. We're going to pick up right where I left off. You're no worries. I, I, and then, Let me just look back to make sure that it's not going to pop out again. Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, whoopsie doodles. Oh, my God. That thing where. Oh, gee. The thing I was going to do to you. I did it while I wasn't looking. Oh, Bummer. That, mean, that means it doesn't count. I got to try again in a week. I, uh, yeah, so. I thought he was going to be pissed off that he didn't get to, like, experience it. And yeah. So he puts the bag back over her fucking head and, like, calls no. them back in. Yeah, because he doesn't want to look at blood and gore. Because he wrote some checks that his ass can't cash. Yeah, have... Oh, my God. You mean... All this all this lead up where I was getting my dick sucked by an AIDS hooker in, like, a dirty... Just anywhere in where I am. And... Uh, fucking trying to convince my uh, younger, uh, cold-footed brother that this is actually a really good idea. And hey, man, you're gonna you're gonna get to work out a little bit of the shit that uh, the reasons why you hate your wife through this because I got her twin, her doppelganger, and also the whole time that he's teasing Whitney, he is essentially proving to the audience that. He's been jilted by a woman. Yeah. The whole time. Oh, and yeah. he got fucking cheated on or something. So this whole... It's a bit of a, a flip from stereotypical horror movies where the men are the strongest characters. Because these two guys are both so insecure that they need to kill a woman about it. Uh. Their whole, both, of the, both of their motivations are, I am uh, jilted for one reason or another by ladies. Yeah, and, and this is my revenge. It's like an incel's wet dream. I I noted that about both of them, and it's funny that of course they would be friends, and of course they would have the same anger that yeah. they have to get out. Yeah, of course. And the only difference is one of them uh, has actual uh, big uh, testicles, and the other one, well, they're shriveled. Unfortunately, it's all that <laughs> uh, fucking steroids he's doing. They just <laughs> trunk right up into his body. The second he sees the inside of a woman's head, he's just done. Yeah. Oh, her hair fell out a little? Mm, I'm uh, good. I like, mean, he he put the saw no, right... He, yeah, he rips a piece of her scalp off. I was joking. He, he puts it right in here, and brains come out. Is it brains? Because there's also some hair. Right right in her forehead is all a right. huge hole. Yeah, well, that explains all the blood. Uh, yeah, they like like that's why they wrap her up, and they're... Yeah. Like, yeah. They don't do a very good job of... Like, they essentially wrap her entire fucking head yeah, and, in bandage. Not like... I don't mean not including face... Her entire head. The her, invisible mander. Yeah. They, <laughs> oh, they Kevin baconed her up. Oh, my God. I, um... But, like, you didn't read the fucking contract when you're the orchestrator of this entire event. Yeah, you... Because re- he's like, I'm out, bye. Uh, do you not understand the rules? Did you not... Yeah, you didn't You didn't kill her. You just maimed her. Somebody's gotta die. That's the rules here. Also, like, you gotta put her out of her fucking misery. You yeah, you, you, you just made the situation worse for her. You can't just put a power saw into her brain for yeah. a second. Fuck. Jesus. I don't know how she managed to stay alive out of that, but... Oh my god. Uh, so, they wrap her up, um, and this, so this guy's like, I'm out of here, I'm fucking leaving. And they yeah. like, no, the contract, you actually... Sorry, man. Um, it's like, fuck your contract. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna get in the elevator ooh. in this building. You really got us good, you got us good, mm. you... Oh, he's no, he's in the elevator. That means that we can't Damn. get him now. Shit. Damn. We shouldn't have let him get in that elevator. I really hope there's not more building on the other end of that elevator. <laughs> where... I hope there's not more building and hungry dogs. Yeah, boy, I hope I don't 
call my friends and tell them to go to the elevator right now. Yeah, easily, on the intercom that we have here. Hey guys, you know that thing that we always discuss what we gotta do if it happens? Release the hounds. (laughs) (laughs) Mr. Burns it up. Yeah, oh, they Mr. Burns it up. That's what they do. Uh, So elevator door opens, here come the puppies. Here come the puppies. Now, meanwhile, um, well, Stuart and Beth have a conversation where at one point the trigger word is said, which is wife. Oh, yeah. And that, uh, well, that puts Stuart into a fugue state. Are we sure? Where, well, given how many times he said, I'm not allowed to kill my wife and I'm not that guy, I'm not sure it's Stuart behind those eyes anymore. So here's what, here's what I gathered. Um. They're they're having this conversation. They get a knock at the door. Yeah. And um this is they've made a a, a grievous error right. here by being like, Hey, we got this special on because they've they've taken a picture of this girl and they're going around offering it to everybody else who's there. Yeah. Like, hey, do you want this? It's on special. She's damaged goods. And in that, while they're doing that, you get to see a dude eating the uh eating Borat's leg. That's right. Um, and that's pretty that's that was the most fucked up thing I've ever seen. Well, he's uh, he's not only just listening to it. He's like uh, pretty blasé about getting a second victim. He's like, yeah, I mean, I guess. Yeah. And then he closes the door, fucking cranks the Beethoven, and then takes his time while living to dig into a man's fucking thigh for a piece. And then he walks over to a table and then sits down with a fork and knife and eats it raw. You might as well have gotten Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> The exact you, same thought, dude. Th- this, this is, what is this, Hannibal? Yeah. This is, this is fucking... I fucking, I literally wrote Hannibal Lecter. Ah, so good. I'm glad, I'm... Because, like, look, you tell me that people are paying to kill people and not one person's like, yeah, I'm gonna eat that. Of course. Let me have some. Like, yeah. I, I don't... I'm gonna get my money's worth. I wish that it was, like, you can only kill them because once, once you can eat them, you kind of open up some other doors for other rules that... Get, it gets a little weird. It does. Potentially. It, it does get a little weird soon. It was a fucking gold mine, though, for sequels. Oh, yeah. So um, so they're showing this girl around, and they go. They come to Stuart's door. Yeah. Stuart looks at that, and he's like, well, wait a minute. Where's uh, so-and-so, my brother? Yeah. And then just, yeah, coincidentally, he's getting, well, the rest of him is getting wheeled past. Yeah, because what uh, what we failed to mention was the dogs rip him to pieces. And, and- in that scene, um, the dogs run into the elevator and you cut to an inside the elevator shot facing out while he's getting eaten and screaming. And one of the dogs kicks the camera. And I don't know if it was on purpose or not, but I was very happy that they left it in. Because I it I made the that. shit look realer. Uh, okay. I missed that part. It was. I felt like it was too authentic to be deliberate. And the dogs are in there, so I think one of them just, like, booted it and oh, knocked likely. it a little. It was hilarious, though. I loved it. Um. So I'm pretty sure at this point he's like, well, what did she do to him? Yeah. And then he's like, yeah, I'll take her. And then he beats the piss out of her. <laughs> and, then, and then he comes back, and I believe she says something like, I'm not your wife. He's like, well, I couldn't yeah. tell my wife, but I'm going to fuck you. So... Uh, what I think, I think uh, before, yeah, before he gets shown the picture, he was going to, um, there was a a part where he's going to let her go. It seemed like it, you know? And then, uh, she gets to, she gets to the door and then he has a uh, change of heart. Oh yeah. Because they have that, that sentimental moment between each other. Yeah. Where it's like, you don't, you're not going to kill me. You don't have to kill me because he's like explaining to her exactly what's going to happen to her. But then, uh fucking something trips in his head. So while she's trying to get the door to work, he fucking rocks her in the face. Oh, he does. And I could tell that the actor was anticipating the hit because she stuck her chin out. But hey, I digress. You know, probably better than getting actually punched in the face. That's true. But yeah, no, she gets, uh, well, she gets, she gets shown her fucking dead friend right away. Yeah. And he goes, notice anything different about... Well, yes, you're drenched in my friend's blood, sir. Yeah. I do indeed notice mm. something different about you. Mm-hmm. I, th- I think he also takes the camera and shows her friend, too. He's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this. Should I kill her? I should kill her, Yeah, eh? yeah. Brings her back the necklace of her dead friend. Right. And he's different because he's killed somebody. Mm-hmm. Also, yeah, he's painted himself red. Uh, um, it was Halloween. So this is where, like, a yeah, she's, like, trying to get him on her side or whatever or get on his side, saying a bunch of shit. Yeah. And then it ends it turns turns into a weird sex thing I didn't care for. 
Um, uh, where he tries, okay, he, let's let's go. Let's, let's you, hang back for a second. You hear some mushing and you hear some unzipping. I remembered something because I wrote it in my notes here. Uh oh. Uh, part of the reason why he flipped the switch into anger and I'm actually going to kill Beth now is because he assumed that Whitney killed Todd. Yeah, yeah. So he's sort of taking that like anger out, right? Mm. But it never gets. He never gets told that that's not what happened. Yeah. Also, given the kind of person that Todd is and the situation that he got you in just now, probably be grateful. Probably be happy he's dead. You're not going to have to go to Eastern Europe and kill a woman again. Mm-hmm. Although this is starting to seem like it was your fucking idea this whole time. <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, <laughs> like, they're working out in the gym and he just keeps going, you know, I'd really like to kill my wife, right? Pass me that plate. Mm-hmm. I really just want to kill my wife. 40 more reps of dead wife. Uh, you got this. One more. Let's kill my wife. <laughs> and dead wife. Uh, all right, good set. So for all the all all the all the uh, gentle, tender, loving he's trying to give her, he gets he gets crowbarred. Yeah. Um. He doesn't pass the bar of crows. <laughs> the he's the, gonna have to retake it. It's like seven hundred and fifty dollars per test. And it's up it's up against the side of your head, which is <laughs> the, the the worst part. I think those are pretty grueling testing conditions. Um. Yeah. So. The whole time after he fucking kills Whitney, he's, like, working through his impending divorce by just really, really, really doing a couple's therapy session where he's the one on the couch talking about how humiliated he is by his wife. And his- and the fact that he works from underneath her. Uh, so, again, the entire, both of these guys, all it is is about recapturing power and both of them suck at it. But, uh, yeah, no, his way is of getting back at his wife is to uh, attempt a rape, is to really just uh, really drive after it. Mm-hmm. Uh, thankfully, that's not what happens in this movie, because I would have been very upset. Yes. Because otherwise, it's a very good movie. Mm-hmm. Yes, quite. But, uh, yeah, no, he gets he gets chained to the chair by Beth, and uh, what's, what's the door code? Well, the, the door codes are birthday. Yeah, they're... but... It's a secret, though. So you're really going to have oh, to incentivize me right. to to give up that information. That's right. The worst part of the fucking movie that really made me go, oh, no. Do you mean the part where Beth sticks an entire needle into a man's ear slowly? Yeah, the needle in the ear really gets the code out of him. That, ten, that, yeah. that really loosened his lips and the blood in his ear. Yeah, loosened it right up and out. Loosened his eardrum real yeah, good. Right, yeah, maybe brains. Things may have been scrambled. <laughs> Uh, but he gives the door code, which is her birthday. Uh, rude. Very rude. But that's actually not the door code. What it is is an alarm code because it flashes a red light instead of just opening the door, mm-hmm. uh, which signals trouble to everyone. Yes. But uh, shit don't matter because when you open that door again, ha! Huh. well, I've huh. got a gun in one hand and a dick and balls in the other. Well, Guess which one I'm cutting. I think what she has in one hand is a pair of tin snips. <laughs> And in those tin snips, she has a dick and balls. The most prominent dick and balls I think I've seen in any movie we've done for this podcast. Well, here's the problem. <laughs> you you gave her access to your dick and balls. Yeah, that was a whoopsie. Yeah, you should have they- zipped up after you got hit by the crowbar. Yeah, m- m- maybe... Because <laughs> really, we should be asking, how did she get access to your dick and balls? <laughs> That wasn't in the contract. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you went off script, man. This is what happens when you go off script. You fucking don't riff on my dime, okay? You're so, gonna get your dick and balls in some scissors. Yeah. Fucking she's... Edward scissor hands here. <clears throat> really wants to trim the hedge. Not much hedge to trim there, by the Not way. Not a lot, no. Wow, he really came to Europe prepared. Yeah, he keeps it pristine. <laughs> So uh, she's got kind of got the upper hand, and is she's kind of in a position here where she gets to negotiate. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Yes. I would listen to every word, please. Yeah. If it, you come any closer, Stuart's like, uh, please listen to her. Please just just hear her out. Yeah. Uh, so uh, the it took her this long to be like, I've got so much money. Why didn't you say that right out of the gate? Yeah. Like when you woke up in yeah, a hot spring. I have second. so much money. Wow. Why am I here? <laughs> I could be anywhere else. I have so much money. Uh, so she ends up negotiating her way. She mm-hmm. buys her way out. Well, uh, uh, yeah. When the offer of money wasn't quite enough because contractually um, 
an obligation needed to be fulfilled. Yes. Which was that nobody's allowed to leave without killing someone. Well, you already know what we do here. You yeah. can't you can't leave without being complicit. Exactly. So, I her way of doing that <clears throat> To show that she means business. Well, really, she does have a way of doing that, but she's provoked into it um, by certain words yeah. used by certain individuals. And I'll, I just got to say it, you don't bite the hand that feeds. No. The um, dogs. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the time during negotiations, there's what's called a give and take. <laughs> And what Beth does is take and then give. Yeah. Kind of does a penis reverse. and balls <laughs> to some dogs. <laughs> a penis and some balls. I just oh, love shit. the, the Those dis- dogs were looking rather hungry when they came in. Whoa. Luckily I have treats. You dogs look like you haven't had dick to eat in all day. <laughs> Here you go. Let me fix that. One dick. And she just walks off like the most... Again, with the fucking gender role reversal in this. That's why... I think that's why the, the Russian model was doing the whole massage thing. It's, it's, it's a power flip. Because she just walks out without caring. Also, the guy might be the head of the mafia, but the blonde chick is the one who runs the building. Yes. This whole thing is... This is just... It's... And I'm impressed by it, but it's just fucking illustrating power of women, which is fine. I'm fine with that. What I didn't understand was why she was able to be like, yeah, let him bleed out when the other guy couldn't have been like, yeah, I put a fucking saw blade into her head. Let her bleed out. I think it's because he didn't say that. I guess. He was just like, I'm done and obviously visibly distressed. So, I mean, that's a loose end if you let him leave, right? That's fair. And also, she went and got the tattoo. She got a tramp stamp, which I thought was impressive. That's a good place to go. It it is. To get it. But she was obviously all in for the sake of her own life, which is what you want at the at the murder hotel. And you know when you she's know? getting it from behind, some guy's like, well, he's, if the condom's on, the condom's <laughs> off, I'm still raw-dogging. I, I had better make sure she gets hers. I don't want to wake up elsewhere. Oh my god, I've seen what she can do to a dick and balls. <laughs> I've There's seen her something. power. Hang on, are there any scissors in my apartment? <laughs> I'm gonna hide those. Yeah, fuck, and, and any sharp corner, really. I think she could get a, she start working with it. Ah, <sighs> uh, fuck, and this, that movie, this movie ends so good, I don't care. Well, well, you, because, no, it's not over. You get that amazing shit, mm-hmm. and then you get just, well. Well, yeah, you, go ahead, go ahead. G- give it, give it to me. Model Retribution Head Soccer is what I wrote. I love it. Uh, I don't, I don't remember the context, but she's, oh, it's the festival again. Mm -hmm. And she gets her purse stolen by the kids, which if you remember from the first movie, I know you don't, but those listening can be paid in gum. All it takes is some gum and they'll do whatever you say. In this case, luring a woman into the woods to get her head chopped off a hundred feet away from a very boisterous party. Yeah. But who cares? Earlier in the movie, they just let a child die in the woods. So it's not like anybody's paying attention to the bodies nearby. Oh, these kids are all psychopaths. Also that, yeah. This is this is like the 50s when parents were just like, I don't care what my kids are doing. Yeah. This is what they were doing. So a throwback to the first movie also, because I think they play head soccer in that one too. We, they they don't just play head soccer. They get a goal. <laughs> they, they get so into it that the kid, like Ronaldo's, he pulls his shirt up over yeah. his head and screams goal. Fuck yeah, he does. With, and it's a lady's head. <laughs> That's how the credits roll, though. It's just a headless woman on the ground. As Bing kids, credits. As kids are, are cheering like they just won yeah. the World Cup. 8 out of 10 for Hostel 8 out of 10. Eight, Fuck yeah, man. 8 out of 10. It was good. Damn. I forgot, honestly, how good it was. Ah, uh, I'm so I I knew you I knew it I knew I picked a good one. You did. You picked several good ones that day. <sighs> and as a matter of fact, ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho boy, did this ever give me material Thank for God. movies for you to choose Thank from. Thank God. I have four here. All right. <clears throat> and they're all separate themes too, because I couldn't I couldn't narrow it down to three. There all was right. no whittling here. I'm I'm okay with that. First theme you got is meaningful tattoos. Oh no. Um that one's uh, better not be a dragon tattoo. I'm, it's, I'm not. It's not. That's I'm, not a horror movie, and I don't. 
I, I have too much of a crush on Rooney Mara to watch her get raped by a fat psychologist, so I'm good. Uh, tourists in dangerous places is the second theme. Okay. Uh, transforming into the killer is the third. And the fourth is victimized by a hot lady. Hmm. I can't, I can't put a finger on any of those. Yeah, no, I, th- these ones are tough. Let's do becoming the killer. I feel like that's going to transforming into the killer. Okay. Yeah. I feel like that's going to, it's going to be different. Something, something new, something, something fun. Well, you're in luck because you're right. Watching Ginger Snaps next week. All right. A Canadian classic. Fuck yeah, eh? Filmed right in Toronto. Emily Perkins, uh, a substantial uh, contributor to my sexual awakening as a prepubescent boy. Jay really loves How I Met Your Mother. I didn't even know she was in that. Wait, is that? No, that's not her. Who are you thinking of? The redhead and and How I Met Your Mother. You're thinking of Amber Tamblyn. I don't know who I'm thinking about. She's in something else, though. Or, or, I think she's in Scary Movie. Uh, from Buffy? Maybe. Yeah, Buffy. That's what yeah. it is. Yes. Uh, sorry, Allison Hannigan is her name. Yes. Amber Tamblyn's from The Ring. Yeah, I'm, th- I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking and thinking married of. to David Cross. Cool. It's not. Nah, that's cool. <laughs> that's, that's a good life decision. You know, you like you want some David Cross, but you can't always have David Cross. Well, she can. Anytime she wants. Yeah. You know, if say, I had. Say yeah. something funny to me. Mm, hey, how about politics recently? That's what it's like living with David fucking Cross. Mm, mm. Yeah, watch his stand-up and tell me I'm wrong. No. After 45 minutes of Republicans. <clears throat> Holy shit. I watched the first part. That's funny. Yeah, the part where he's talking about, like, dicks being gross. I'm, yeah. g- I'm down there. Yeah, oh yeah. And, and, and pills? I'm not 100% sure he's been funny since Tobias. Nah, bigger and blacker er was, was good. Right. I, mm, did that not come before, though? That, that was after. It was after Arrested Development? Yeah. Okay, fine. So here's what you passed up, though. Okay. Um, <laughs> victimized by a hot lady was afflicted. Found footage movie about a guy that turns into a vampire. Okay. Um, which could also have been transforming into the killer, I suppose. But I wanted to put Ginger Snaps on here. Because we're doing a thing with, uh, like, prominently women in mo- horror movies. There the we moment. go. All right. Um, Tourists in Dangerous Places was uh, Chernobyl Diaries. Also appropriate. Oh, shit, yeah. And Meaningful Tattoos, which I really wanted you to pick because it it was going to be Green Room. I've not seen that. Well, it's about skinheads. Oh, no. That's... <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, I thought I was real clever there. That is and not good <laughs> at all. Wow. There may have been some shaming of the uh, Roma culture in this movie. The, the only thing that was shaming of them was earlier when I said the word gypsy. <laughs> but <laughs> how about you... when I fucking said it? <laughs> how else do you describe the music? I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's got a name. It's called Gypsy Punk. Fair go, enough. Go, go, Bordello. Uh, yeah. I don't the know. The second you hear something that sounds like coins rattling. <clears throat> and, uh, and like, you know it's somebody with a tchotchke necklace behind you and a bandana on their head. As soon as you hear the kind of music that somebody would Casting be running. Hexes. <laughs> that too. <laughs> that is what I was gonna say. Fucking putting their fucking index finger and pinky up and pointing it at you, <laughs> mumbling nonsense. That's how you get cursed. It sure is. Cursed to some Eastern fucking European you get chase that, music. You get that lamia, fucking high squeaky violin. Oh yeah, right. The rag. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's the podcast. Fucking Grindhouse Movie Club guys get stoked for Ginger Snaps. Ginger Snaps, and then there's a second one where she's snapped. I think, right? Is that it? Ginger snapped? Is it the second one? Uh, I think it's called... I want to say it's called Unleashed. Or is it... Ginger sn- snaps Unleashed. Or is it Ginger snaps back? <laughs> well, she's dead after the first one. Ah! <laughs> Spoiled the movie for next week. Right out the movie. <laughs> <laughs>